Bucho, be a real <laughs> right now. How much money would it take for you to put <laughs> coke up your butt and bring it in? Is everyone aligned? Yeah, everyone that wears 12. Okay. Hell yeah. So we are aligned that this is Tresor's favorite episode because it's his man crushes. That's true. All right. That's <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, now you're, you're dragging. You start with disrespect on the first. Like, this is, is the Juju Watkins episode. That's the 12 that we're You're only today. saying that because. The Dwight Howard episode. Of the game. Oh. Is Dwight Howard, do I have his 12? D12. Yeah. yeah, he is. You're only saying that because I said man crush. If I didn't no. bring up man crush, you would 100% said, this is my twin. This is John. the Juju. <laughs> they could share it. It's the John Juju episode. Okay, sure. If John I ever Juju play basketball John again Juju. in my life, I'm wearing number 12. <laughs> yeah, man, Everyone not. who wears 12 is tough. Why what are the, who, what are the odds of you what actually mean? playing basketball again? I mean like yeah. a celebrity game or like a charity game. Number celebrity 12. <laughs> <laughs> I want number 12. This guy says celebrity game. You see, man. Oh, I, my God. I, I, I'd like to know the like the argument and back and forth when tr- they want Tristor to play in the game, but somebody else wants 12. And I'm not playing unless I get 12. Like, I'm like not I, playing unless I get number 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Chris Ball didn't go to Miami. He's standing on business. The number three. Mm. Okay, well, everyone, the numbers. as you may have put together now, welcome to episode 12. Relentless Diaries podcast. I realized last week that we didn't intro. Who's 11? Uh, Yao Ming. Okay. There was a lot of 11s. John Wall was 11. John, John Wall. Before um, he was two. Who else was? I feel like Yao Ming is the most. There was a lot of 11s. Technically, DeMar DeRozan is number 11 right now, isn't he? Yeah, and wasn't he on the Raptors too? Wasn't he 11 on the Raptors? I'm thinking, trying to think. No, was he, he was 10 on the Raptors. Oh, He's 11 wow. right now. Yes. And when I couldn't think, I was struggling. I, I, I was confusing. Kyrie was 11, wasn't he? Yeah, Ky- Kyrie was 11, mm. yeah. Okay, so we made up for last week. People were mad that I didn't say DeRozan when we got to 10. <laughs> and I didn't say Lowry for seven either. It was, you know, Who'd you say for seven? Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember I said Kevin Durant? Lamar Odom. Oh, and Kevin Durant. But Kevin Durant, I think, 35. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, anyways, guys, welcome to 12. Like I said, your source favorite number for evident reasons. For you. Um, okay, sure. It's all right. Ja will be back at the beginning of the season, man. Yeah. Wait, Ja's out again? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Anyways. Minor setback for a major comeback. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm your main host, Zoe. I'm glad. I'm Trezor. I'm Mucho. Here we are. Um, you guys I'm are lucky. lucky. We're we're um halfway missing the Elite Eight of the yeah. NCAA yeah, Women's yeah, yeah, Basketball yeah. Tournament. Halfway missing, but it is... Being watched. We have it still. playing in the background. <laughs> we weren't missing. We don't it, usually yeah. do that either. We like don't, but I think we should start having something in the back. We you know? We've circumstances. missed some very key, marquee, prime time matchups 100%. because of recording this podcast. 100%. So it's like, y'all should allow us to have the game in the background. So like And even NBA finals are like Tuesday, yeah. Thursday, Sunday. Yep. So you have to so. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick. <Damn. laughs> We're just like, gonna y'all renegotiate y'all his contract. Yeah. He's like, Hold <laughs> on, y'all want me to be on the show? God damn. Call it and sick <laughs> but um we have a little bit of a jam-packed docket ish yeah, coming yeah, up yeah. um i mean some the hottest topic i think we have right now is i'm for me at least beyonce dropped act two for renaissance i know you guys are not you know big beyonce listeners i listen to the album i am impressed I'm impressed. I don't really like country music. Mm-hmm. I know there's an argument online about, you know, oh, she's just trying to win album of the year and she's trying to appeal to white people. But I won't lie. It's a, I think she does a very good, it's country, but it's a good twist. And I, I enjoyed it. I actually liked it. I think it's a very vocal heavy album. I don't know if you guys listen to Mucho. I know you say you listen to it. Yeah, I have. She's she's experimenting a lot with her runs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think it's very yeah. vocal heavy, which is something that I don't think we've seen from Beyonce in a while. You know, I, mean, I think Renaissance Act 1 was very... Yes, her vocals were still great, but it was a lot of good production on that album. You know what I mean? She yeah. had an amazing beat. It was house. It was house. Exactly. Right? And yeah. house music is it's not production heavy. Fo- focus, yeah. Right? right? Yeah. But I think now... And also, I didn't realize... How, I don't really listen to country music. Well, there was, sorry, there was that one song on Renaissance where everybody was doing the vocal challenge. I'm forgetting what it was. Which uh, song? That everybody one on of, but that's what she did at the show, though. At the show? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. on the album. Okay. Yeah, true, yeah, true, yeah. True. That's a drunken love run. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. It yeah, was during yeah, the era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. So, but like I said, regardless, she still had vocals on Act One. But mm-hmm. I think Act Two, it's very like vocal heavy. And I don't, like I said, I don't listen to country music. I'm not. Why I, not? I don't know. I'm not a big country fan. Like, there's a I, couple. There's a couple bots, yeah, there's a couple. You guys don't like no Morgan Wallen? Who's that? Uh, yeah. I only know him from Broadway Girls with Lil Durk. Broadway Girls was. You know cool. yeah, that song? Yeah. But yeah. last night is amazing. You never, you never. never What's last night? 
Don't make me sing that. <laughs> I like the one. It's a quarter after one. Yeah. I need you now. Yeah. That's a good one. That's I what like see, that's, that's a good one. That's like, that's good vibe that's music. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have I to, like the. Baby, your song, you made me want to roll <laughs> my windows down <laughs> and cruise. That's a banger. Oh, that's, that's a, a banger, banger bro. Old no. oh, yeah, school Nickelback and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Get this and it, okay, yeah, I won't lie. Yeah. The white people did their thing with country. There's a few country. Country slaps. Country slaps. Country slaps. What's yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Lady Antebellum? They're like the country. Yeah, that's like, what, yeah, what yeah, that's like the, the cheating song by the, like, Jolene? Jolene, not, Jolene, that's a track Jolene, though. Jolene. The Louisville slug at a both hands. Oh, that what one. What song is that? Uh, uh, something before he cheats. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah that's a. The, and Carrie Underwood. Yes, Jesus, Carrie take Underwood. the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Yo, take crit, it from black, my hands. black mothers that go to church <laughs> around the world gentrified Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> they love we, that we song. Took it from them. We they took, took it. From it. Them. <laughs> Any song that has Jesus in it. Yeah. Black right. moms are on it. Facts. They're on it. But anyway, regardless, like I said, country's not my bag. But there's mm-hmm. there's bangers. Yeah. Um, I think she did a really good job doing country and also adding a little bit of like a Beyonce twist to it because, like I said, it's very. And also didn't realize like country music is very like it's vocal heavy. It's it's a lot of storytelling. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't yeah, yeah, realize yeah, how yeah. much storytelling yeah. goes into country. Like. You really gotta listen to the lyrics when you're listening to country music. Because the production stripped down, right? Yeah, it's and a lot of it's guitar. like guitar, you know, banjo, stuff like that. You don't really, you're like, oh, damn, she's really talking. The no. vocal scales are very sweeping. I feel yes. like they're very up, down, up, down. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. just, it's it's a shout out to country. It's definitely yeah. got some, some great elements. And there. I think she did a yep. good job. And honestly, like I said, I liked it. She, like, she had a really good run. There's, I think there's like from like song, I think it's from like Yaya. And then it goes into like something else, and there's like River Dance and Two Hands to God. Like she has a solid like run of just like great songs. Kind of like the middle. It's a little bit towards the end, mm. and like she po- the Post Malone song. I was gonna ask. Yeah. I didn't what listen. In the, like what were the fe- the features were like the Post Malone and the Miley Cyrus. Feature? Post Malone, everybody Miley loved the Post Malone song. The Dolly Shibuzi, Parton. Is that is. Am I saying? Yeah, right? Shabuzi. I think his name was Will. Willie, there's Willie Nelson, okay. then there's wow, Morgan Willie. Willie. He's cool. also a black country artist. Um, she had a few features on there. Also, are you saying Willie Nelson? No- okay, <laughs> why do you mean by also? So there's two. There's Willie Nelson, and then there's Willie Wo- Nelson's not. Wait. What? What? <laughs> what race is Willie Nelson? <laughs> He is not I black. Won't, I won't lie. That's Willie right. Nelson is not black. He's not. No. He's that's a not. white man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. that's have to correct you right there. <laughs> Why did your brain glitch like that? Because you said all. I'm like, who's black on there? You said Willie Nelson. No, I no. Who's black or who the features? <laughs> I'm never going over. Who, <laughs> I'm never going over who the features. Oh god. It's kind okay. Of Billy to say Willie yeah. Nelson. I said Morgan <laughs> Willie is black. Got you. Got yeah, yeah. No, sorry. So there's <laughs> Willie Nelson. And I think there's Morgan Willie. Got you, got you. Morgan Willie is the black one. Got Let me you. just make sure I'm right. Yes, yes. No, it's not, not more. I'm wrong. Willie oh, Jones. God. Willie Jones. <laughs> Are you sure it's Willie Jones, not I Quincy looked, Jones? I looked, no, Too I many Willies, man. So she has Pause. a Pause. song Pause. or like a... Oh, you're so... <laughs> 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 write that down. There's yeah. too many Willies. So <laughs> there's too many Willies, yes. She has an a interlude with Willie Nelson. Yeah. And then she has... Uh, a song with Willie Jones. Willie Jones is black. Got you. Got yes, you. Yes, sorry. Anyways, regardless, yes, there's Miley Cyrus. Post Malone yeah. really impressed me. He's, re- he's, he's a really talented artist. He he's is a talented versatile. artist, but I didn't even know he had vocals like that. Mm. Like, I don't really listen to Post Malone too much. That's his bag. Like, where is it? Yeah, 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 that whole country adjacent sort of thing with yeah, a bit of a bop. Man. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's. He gave up the auto tune after White I- Iverson. Did he? Wasn't yeah. that his, like his first song? Mm-hmm. He does a little, the little auto tune um, stuff on. Uh, what was his last big song? Congratulations. Nah, he had a. I'll find. But it, he's right? been he's been in an acoustic band. I'll, I'll find. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, a, for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. 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 but uh, he has, he has great vocals. Mm-hmm. The Miley Cyrus song was it lit? I had a hard time enjoying both of their vocals together. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Like, be, like, Miley's very raspy. Like, Miley yeah. has a raspy. And yeah. Beyonce is very kind of like... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is why I didn't want... No, that's fine. I, I want that all. This is why I didn't want to have the game in the background. <laughs> Caitlin Clark just dropped two threes from, like, 30 feet. Oh Please my. pay attention. Wait, uh, I, that, I had to say that. Continue. <laughs> Anyways, it's very... 
Yeah, and like Beyonce's voice is very like sultry, like you know, like black women, like R and B, like soul. So I, it was kind of and they sang at the same time. Yeah. So it's a little bit hard. I'm like, okay, uh, okay, uh. So, but I think over time it'll get me. Regardless, I I'm happy she did it. Um. What What do you I, think about uh like the edit she made to Jolene? I loved it. Oh, okay. I loved it because I won't lie, Jolene. Because you're scared of being vulnerable, dog. Is that I'm scared of being vulnerable? Yeah, is that why I liked her why, version? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but Jolene, okay, like Dolly Parton's Jolene, right? She's like begging this woman not to take her man. Mm-hmm. Please don't do it. I have a family. We've been together for so long. You're so beautiful. Beyonce's like, bitch, don't do it. Right. I'm warning you, don't do it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, don't do it. So she's also saying it from kind of like a black woman's point of view. Because she, because even I heard the song, I'm listening, and she's like, I'm warning you, don't take my man. And I'm like, yo, Dolly Parton did not say that. Like, I know Dolly Parton. So she definitely did her own, like, forceful twist on it. Mm-hmm. And I enjoyed it. I like that a you lot. You think Beyonce fights? How many fights do you think Beyonce's been in None. in her life? None. She sends her goon, her sister. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how she handles it. Yeah, no, Beyonce's not fighting. Absolutely not. She don't no. get her hands dirty. Though. Absolutely not. Solange is Beyonce's Solange is yeah. Solange that's, that's Solange sure. Beyonce's chubs. That's her yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, ex- I do think uh, Solange Why is Beyonce's like chubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, regardless, I'm happy she did it. Um, I'm interested to see how the Academy, not that I care, responds to it. Um, not that you care, you sure? I do and I don't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I have, like, this... And I've said it before when it was around the Grammy time. Like, we always argue with the Grammys and we always, you know, go and try to plead our case. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, but I, I am still interested to see how it comes about when it's Grammy time next year. Isn't it all part of, like, a bigger thing? Like, I was kind of saying, like, hey, this is Act 2, right? And then Act 3 is going to drop. And, like, I think... Uh, She's probably going to do rock or something like you th- that. I, I was going to ask you guys, she's, what do you think Act 3 is going to be? Because she's reclaiming genres that are typically white but have lots of black roots black and roots. stuff. Is that right. what she's doing? Electronic, Kinda, yeah. uh, country, and, and rock music would be the three that's genres. That's why people spearhead. think it's rock. She never said anything about rock. But no, that's no why but I, I, I'm just saying that. Like, What other genres sense, are right? there, though? There could be like a... Oh, yeah. She can go back to soul. People said, some people, oh, she goes back to soul. She's not doing no damn dance hall. I saw people say Jersey she's Club dancing. album. And she kind of gave the African hymns album, you know? Yeah, she already did the Black is King, yeah. right? Yeah. She could do jazz. I don't see jazz that. got taken like over by white people, too. Frank Sinatra y type, like mm. rap yeah. pack, like but big no, yeah. orchestra kind of <laughs> tracks. I don't want to hear that. No, so, yeah, I I, she could probably. I, do I don't know if I'd I want to hear Beyonce doing a pink album either. I, no, I'd rather true. hear Beyonce's vocals on rock than hear Beyonce's vocals on. Jazz or Frank Sinatra. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I think you don't want to try see her try to do her Bobby Caldwell. You don't want to see that. Mm, you don't I don't know. You don't want to hear her version of "What a Wonderful World." <laughs> Maybe I like that song. I, I like it. We yeah. played it at my grandpa's. Because you didn't know you like country until that's true. I, you're right. Don't knock until you try or until you listen. Yeah, I'm okay. not mad at it. But did you buy cowboy boots and the hat? You won't. I won't lie. I definitely want a cowboy hat now. Yeah. What? To where? Where are you gonna wear that? To the Out, show. To the <laughs> to the show, yeah. to parties, to so parties. You're gonna I wear. You are gonna not wear. wear you not. I will pull up hat to, to a mucho day party this really? summer with a, a cowboy hat. In a cowboy I'm hat. flipping this. Okay. Thirteen, in a, in a white wife beater. Yeah, tight. Looking like future in 2015. Maybe. <laughs> I would do it. Okay. I would 100% I, do I'd it. I'd like to see that. I'm holding you to that. This Some is ca- low rise jeans. Why? This is cat. Why? You're not doing that. Why? You say you say she doesn't experiment with her, with her swag like that? No. How do you know? Why? Because you see, you only see me once a week and I come here comfortable and sweat. I've known you for years. I've seen you out. <laughs> yeah, but you don't, you don't see you're me out. You're not wearing a... She's classy. You're not the, She's classy. You stick to what you like. Yeah. You're not an experimenter. <laughs> Well, maybe now I'm cowboy hat. <laughs> maybe now well, okay, I'm in see, a new era of my life. Okay, well if you're gonna do era. that, maybe I want a change. No, but if you're gonna maybe do I've that, opened my eyes then to do new it things. for real. Don't wear the cowboy hat. You're trying to safeguard yourself by doing it at a mucho event. You want me to wear chaps? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> he's saying don't limit. You're like, what, you want to go full cowboy? I'm saying you could wear the cowboy hat, but you're trying to protect yourself by doing it in an ecosystem that you're familiar with mm. at Mucho's event with yeah. people that you know mm. in an environment you're familiar okay, so with. Okay, so the Go to work. like 44 <laughs> with, a, with the cowboy hat on. <laughs> Can you wear a cowboy hat? Can you wear hats inside at 44? Yes. Yeah, they'll just body search you three times as hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's it. But my thing is, I think cowboy hat's more of a daytime thing though, no? Like at like... Not if you're future. 
I feel like I'd have to wear it like a day party. Yeah. Even okay. if it's not muchos, I feel like I'd have to start like. Wear it to a day honestly, party that's not muchos. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, fine. I well, want to see that. Lil Nas X <laughs> must be pissed. Nothing's wrong, but I think Cowboy hats are kind of sexy. I'm not going to lie. I think Beyonce's making it look sexy. And people wear them very regularly, For just sure. not in Toronto. No, definitely not in Toronto. If you go to Paris, Texas on King Street. And it's Come funny because now. my you uncle, my uncle's a fashion designer, and he asked me, he was like, are you going to start wearing cowboy hats? And I was like, I thought about it. He was like, no. He's like, what about cowboy boots? I'm like, I definitely get it. He was like, no. So I don't know. <laughs> cowboy boots is fake. Crazy. I would definitely get a cowboy. I would definitely get a nice pair of cowboy Weren't boots. Weren't girls already wearing the cowboy hats part of their renaissance? Like, yeah. Oh, it was already yeah. sort of there, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, because mm-hmm. Beyonce wore the cowboy hat, the disco cowboy hat yeah, on the renaissance yeah. cover. I only know one girl that wears cowboy boots, and she's from America. Mm. Like is she right from the but South? She's from, yeah. It's a mm. cultural thing. It is a cultural thing. She's from Texas, and she wears it like day to day. It is absolutely a cultural thing, but did someone just knock? No, that's my foot on oh. this thing. Yeah, but um, I think I would definitely. We'll see. If I can find a nice, good, not like I can see Mucho wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. why? Yeah, I that just seems like his bag. <laughs> I like very to, assimilative. Like yeah. You can I like to wear weird shit sometimes. So assimilative. I, yeah. sorry, I was going to let you cook. Assimilative. Sorry, sorry, yeah, it'll look good with the dress. Take, take the braids out. Yeah, I'll do <laughs> it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, we're we're going to match, Zoe. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> look at like Woody you and Jesse. <laughs> we should do all cowboy hat episode. I would do it if it's like a theme. <laughs> I want we're, we're, that more in general. Like, I want themed episodes where we do have to. Yeah, okay. like, we're going to do it when Beyonce comes. Is she coming? To where? You think she's actually coming? Well, she's going to uh, announce a tour. Everyone, People are assuming she's going to announce a tour. I don't know if we know oh, for sure. I'll be looking at it. I was talking about how, like. <laughs> how do you guys afford these Beyonce tickets? Yeah. They're not that. If you buy them the day of the show or, like, a couple days before, they're not bad. We, I got a pretty good deal. Yeah, because you knew somebody. No, no, no. I didn't know anybody for Beyonce. No, Beyonce is really hard. I didn't know nobody oh, for okay, Beyonce. Okay. I am not plugged into Rock Nation. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> that's what no, at all. No, I had to pay full price for Beyonce. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even what, try to. three bills? Yeah, I paid about three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oof. My cousin paid almost three bills for Chris Brown, which I thought was nuts. I'm not paying three bills for Chris Brown, respectfully. Front floor seats? No, 100s. I'm not paying three bills for Chris Brown. The backflip to no, the March Madness. Were you floor yeah, seats yeah. for Beyonce? No, I wasn't floor seats. I was very close, like like maybe like like row eight or seven of one hundred. So I was fairly close in the one hundreds. So just above the floor, Oof. which was still good. I don't know if I'm at pay for three, pay three hundred for. Yeah, a concert yeah, we've yet. been through this. Your, your your limit is like what you said 100, 150? Yeah, That's like, your limit. Like one fifteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 115, <laughs> not 150. I spent almost. He said 100 plus HST. On the yeah. Yeezus floor tickets, like when the Yeezus tour. Was and you there. got kicked out. I know. <laughs> you got too drunk, so that's why. No, my friend got us kicked out because he tried buying, wanted, got me to buy alcohol, and like I had a fake ID. We were not. And he didn't like, reimburse you or nothing. No, he got tickets for the show the day after. Oh, okay. they weren't real one. They weren't platinum floor seats, like 280 dollars. You were in the nosebleeds. Yeah, yeah, but I still got to see like Yeezus. But did you really see him? <laughs> you saw him. You saw the screen of him. Yeah, yeah, I did. But like, that's why I refused. It was a Damn. show. So sorry. That's why I refused to sit um, like too far at a con- like at a basketball game or a concert. I'm not sitting higher than the 100s. Imagine 300s for like a because at that a point I'm watching the screen. So, so and I could have watched the screen from home. So what about like if a dude's bringing you out to a game and he brings you to the to the 300s? <sighs> Are you appreciative? I'm still appreciative. Okay. But I'll let you know, like, yo, like, if we do this again, it just makes more sense to, you know, maybe try to, you know, get a deal last <laughs> minute on a 100 level. Because, like, like I said, we're watching the screen. You know we could have went to a bar and did this. No and facts. we could have saved them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I get it's the yeah. atmosphere right. and it's the, whoa, you know. The and sometimes but the best fans are in the back. Low key. Low key. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's true. But it's stop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're my, right. My bag is 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 going to the game in the three hundreds, eyeing out whichever of the empty seats Sneaking in the one hundreds. Going, you're doing down. that with the shorty you're bringing on the date. Nah, not on the first date, okay. but on the second and third. Why not? Okay. She knows me. That's <laughs> second mean, or third. So. Yeah. Is it an ick if you're at a game with a guy, and the jumbotron comes on, and you guys are on the jumbotron, and he takes his shirt off and waves it out <laughs> in the air? Taking your shirt off is crazy. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a little icky. Yeah, that was, that was, that was what about what if, he, what if he participates in the wave? That's not bad. I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Really? But my thing, I'm, type of, I'm a person. That like, kind of seems no. Uh, I can but see my thing is, I'm a type of person that I, if I go to a game, I want to have fun. 
I want to, you know, it's community. Yeah. I want to do shit. It's like I want you to cheer. I want I want to cheer. Like do the wave. Like it, that's yeah. not. What, what, if, he's cares, if he's screaming, let's go rap. I'm not mad cool. at that. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not mad at that. So at what all. if, if the jumbotron comes on him and it's like a dance competition and he starts dancing and everything? <laughs> like yeah. That, <laughs> and then it becomes one of those where it's like they show a kid on the other side and now him and the and kid are having the dance <laughs> battle back and forth. Nice. I like, and if he can actually dance, no, and he loses cute. to the kid. That's fine. <laughs> okay. And you're always okay. gonna okay. you're okay. always gonna lose to a kid. I think that's yeah. cute. I, I would okay. actually really like that. You know what I seen someone online get mad at? It was a woman. She got mad at um. <laughs> A dude invited her out to a basketball game, said, yo, I have lower level tickets to this ball game. She pulled up and it was a WNBA game. She got cheese. No. <laughs> Come That's on. That's crazy. That, this is why. We women need, empower me, We right? thank you. We need to support the WNBA. We're supporting the women's NCAA right now. Did you see the? Yeah, you're right. Did you see I, the? I love um, this. I love I how people are. Like, I wouldn't be mad. Yeah. Did you see the post about how the girl got mad that the guy, um, that she told a guy that she gives food to the homeless. Oh, yes. Like four times a month. And for their first date, he took her to give out food to the homeless. And she's pissed. And she's pissed. So this is what I'll say. For a first date, though? <laughs> yes. What? What's I the, think that's kind of crazy. No, what's I'm, happening? I'm on the opposite <laughs> side. I'm with the people that say. Huh? No, nah, I'm with the people that say. <laughs> 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 No. Stupid. No, okay. no, no, but you know okay, why I'm no, not I jacking that? It's yeah. because I get that if this this was random mm. and like she's never expressed that this is something that she enjoys doing. Mm -hmm. I think he tried to find like a creative way to do something that is of your interest that also like shows he's a good person and like helps other people. Mm. I get it if like he drew this out of thin air, then that doesn't make yeah. sense. But if you've expressed that you like doing this, right? I don't see how that's not a good, or how that's not like a decent first date. Like, why it just, are you just doesn't sex? Seem, is it romantic? So, it, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I, I'm going to find the middle ground here. I understand when Mucho's like, what? Because, yeah, it's the first date, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't be mad. Because to me, like I said, I'm always, a, I'm always about the thoughtfulness, right, and the effort. So to me, it's like, okay, you're paying attention to what I'm telling you, and you're trying to apply it. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I would just be like, you know what? I really like that was really cute that you did that because important to me, blah, blah. But I would prefer maybe a traditional date where I can like, you know, get cute and like, yeah. go, you know, just say it like that. Even I personally so, wouldn't be mad. Yeah, I don't true. I don't even think Sometimes that. Sometimes men are. Too, I won't lie. I love thoughtfulness, and I will never <laughs> knock a man for doing that. Yeah. But sometimes men are too thoughtful that they miss the mark. And, but I'm not going to knock you for that ever. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You got to show that That's you're... That's kind of what it sounds like, though. What? Like, but he tried, no, though. But he did it, try. Yeah, No, but like missing the mark a little bit. Like, Well, I mean, on the first date is missing the mark. Yes. yes 100%. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe yeah, like yeah. once we start... Are more Seems comfortable like a second with each or third date Yeah, thing, like okay, yeah, like hey, yeah, like yeah. are you feeling this weekend? Like, do, I'd like to do this with you since mm. we've already established each other on the first. But that's what I'm saying. You you yeah, miss okay. you don't yeah. you miss the mark, but not in a bad way. I'm not gonna knock you for it. Okay. But also, but you just gotta apply it differently. Fair, <laughs> you know fair what enough, I mean? But also, enough, I don't get like why would you not just tell him that you want to do something else? Why would you go on the date and then complain on the internet? Oh yeah, she, no, a, but did she go on the date or did she not go on the date? I thought she just didn't go on the date. She oh, went that to is crazy if complain. she went on it. Yeah, and then I don't, I don't remember. I thought she went on the date. I personally would have been like, that was really thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening. Yeah. But I would just prefer to go like you know to dinner, so we can actually like talk more. You know what I'm saying? Like I can get cute. You know, mm -hmm. like that is how you position it. You could talk while handing out sandwiches to homeless people. Yes, and you're not really get, like you're not sitting down getting to know someone one on one when you're feeding the homeless. Just or whoo, skyhook. I Sorry. guess it is kind of like an activity <laughs> date a little bit. But I don't know if I heard like a woman likes to go like visit like cancer patients at the hospital every week. I wouldn't be like, yo, I wouldn't DM her like I can't come with you next time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't think you. Yeah. <laughs> It, Wanna make I a wish know, for man. her first date? Yeah. yeah. But, or if she like reads I think, at like Sick Kids Hospital. You're not doing that on the first date. It feels like it's her thing. Salute. And then maybe once we get to know. <laughs> Salute. Yeah. I like what you're doing. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> once we you get ready? to know each other better. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I 100% agree. But a with lot that. of people were saying like, um, she's just cheese because like, you were capping and now he's like No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> like you I probably went that. to give food to homeless people once and you're trying to move like this is something that you really do. That's some that's and some now shit he that brought people would you lie about to yeah, go yeah, do yeah, that yeah, yeah. and now you're cheese. No, she I don't think, think she's I'm like, a, damn, she I need to go again. <laughs> <laughs> 
She did it once for the, the gram, case. and now yeah. she didn't want to. I think she's just over. Woo. Sorry, that was a nice block. I think she's just over. <laughs> this is why you've I done it why. way more than I, I have. I know, I know, but because because before I was trying not to look. Okay, but, but now that I'm looking, anyway. So just about women's basketball, though. Like, mm. Yeah, why just, don't we? Yeah. Just watch. <laughs> just yeah, let's just let's just dive in. <laughs> in the recent games that you guys have been watching, right? Because I'll be honest, I've only seen like when it comes to women games, I've seen the national championship last year, mm. and that was With like LSU that, versus Iowa. right. That was a pretty fun game. Oh, it was an amazing game. But, Watching the competition right now, it's not. It hasn't been very entertaining to me the past couple of games. Nah, the games have been nah. good. There's been a few. You, good you games. think it's like you you like the quality of basketball? Yeah, okay. I, I, think I think it's women's good basketball, basketball okay. has definitely upped, and I think it's because like the stars are like really stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Angel Reese has her own thing going on. Angel and Flaje at LSU. Yeah, they have their own thing. Like yeah, because I think the biggest thing. That is making it work now is that there's stories. Yes, LSU has a story. 100%. Angel and Flaje have a story. Yeah, Caitlin Clark has her own story, like yes. with mm. Iowa. Right, but then also the shorty from um, South Carolina. Or my bad, the big the six foot eight Ooh. girl oh, from South person. Carolina. They're the number one team, oh. and they just got in like some big fight couple games ago. Uh. Girls is tussling with each other. Yeah, sorry, I seen that. I seen that, and then fire, yeah. and then Juju. Michael Jordan Watkins, right. freshman going crazy right. at U- USC from LA. Chris Brown at your games. <laughs> you feel me? Like she's going crazy. And then UConn with Paige and all of them. There's a lot of storylines. Like so there's, there's a, a lot of entertaining. Oh, 100%. Yeah. There's a lot of storylines. And this game looks like it's good. The, the t- right now, there's a LSU versus what's it Iowa. Iowa. Iowa on right now. This looks like it's good. But I watched the Paige Buckers game yesterday. That was terrible. Duke scored like nine points in the first half. Um, I didn't watch the game. Okay. And then I, I watched an, another game. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe the quality. It depends on the team. You, you guys are talking yeah. about the stories, but is the quality of basketball good? The, te- the really in the good teams. NCAA basketball? In, in, in these games that you're Women's? The, yeah. The good teams the are USC good. The USC game that I watched was a really good game. Okay. The right. good, I'll say that. The good teams are good. Right. Yeah. The good teams. They are. I'll the revisit. Good teams are good. I'll revisit after the, the, good teams the, are the good. tournament's done. Yeah. But what are, you, what are you comparing this to? The women's. The, just basketball. I typically watch, which to be honest, is I watch all levels. Mm-hmm. I watch high school ball. I watch the. Okay, I watch Drake. The, the U. Show. Speak. <laughs> go. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Not women's high school ball. But <laughs> watching women's high school ball is fake crazy. Like, what? That's um, crazy. I, I watch uh, even the U, the, um, the what, what do you call it? The Ontario o- OBA. OCA. No, not the OBA. The OCA. OUA? The OUA, but I think it's called the U now. CSI. For, 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 um, for university basketball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that because my brother was in it and I, I still mess with a lot of a lot of his teammates out there. And then the NBA and the NCA, but yeah. I watch all levels. But what I saw in that Duke game was terrible. Yeah, maybe, mm. but nah. Certain a couple of these girls, there, Kaylin Clark and Juju, mm-hmm. are nice. Like I would pick them on a run versus guys. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. like they're um, nice. So like on the notion of like storylines and it being sort of box officey, like you can sell this now. People are very interested. People are invested that may not have been before. And you see how much like like the value like that these that these women are bringing in. You, we we heard that Caitlin Clark was offered five million dollars mm-hmm. from the Big Three League, which would be Ice the, Cube's league. Yeah, Ice Cube's league, which um, for context too is kind of at odds with the NBA right now. Um, the mm-hmm. NBA is doing a lot of things to try and mm-hmm. suppress Sabotage them. It, yeah. So uh, and I think the commitment for Caitlin Clark would have been like ten games, and she would have gotten five, five million dollars. Yeah. Wait, is she playing with men though? Yeah. She, would be, be, she would be playing with Reggie Evans and like retired Jam- NBA Jamal players. Crawford and yeah, yeah. Is that is that scary? So I want to say this, right? <laughs> I so, feel like if, just from a physical standpoint. Yeah. These are vets, Stephen like Jackson if, and Matt Barnes. So this kinda, is this yeah. is the thing though. Caitlin Clark is a guard, so she wouldn't have to bruise and stuff. Mm. Like she could just pass, shoot. Yeah. But if you're playing threes and On you're trying to win and stuff, you're trying to get that matchup and you're trying to get. Yeah. Someone big on, on it. If you're trying tough. to win, right? It yeah. would be tough for her on defense. Yeah. It, 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 That'd it be would, the main part. Yeah, she'd get picked on on defense. But if she could rain threes and make the right passes, yeah. there's a four ball in US uh, in, in big three. So I yeah, feel she like could she'd, pull. Be, she'd be flourishing. She could pull from there. So she'd be fine. She's about to pull right now. So oh. that's. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 
So the whole th- the whole thing though is like people were mad that Angel Reese wasn't offered. The yeah, same like oh, I think yeah, uh, Lexi Brown, thing. who's on the Gilbert Arenas podcast, said. But let's have the conversation. Is there, there, it's, has there like, been another woman in women's on, basketball bro. in the last seven years that is worth like the offers that Caitlin Clark is Juju. getting? Juju. But Juju's a freshman, so we know you love that. Juju. Juju's a freshman. <laughs> Paige, Paige is nice too, but Kaylin Clark is different. Kaylin Clark is like Steph Curry in in college. So who's better, Kaitlyn Clark or Kaitlyn Clark for sure? Better than Angel Reese for sure. Is Kaitlyn Clark better than Juju Watkins? You think? Ooh, that's your girl. Is she better than Paige it's, Buckley? It's all, no, yes. it's it's a yeah. freshman versus someone in their fourth year that's breaking all types of records and stuff. It's yeah, not a fair it's comparison. Tough. And, and even, even you know what, Angel Reese, Angel's a forward. And this is what a I'm guard. getting at. This is what I'm so getting. So it's kind of hard too. to compare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then also she's a forward. See, this is what this is a problem with people that start discourse online and they don't even watch basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. you're you're treating this like um, chart data. Yeah, like <laughs> it's casual. Right? Yeah, like, like you can. Passing. So we just talked about logistically how it would work if Caitlin Clark was playing in the big three, right? Mm-hmm. She's a guard, so she could figure it out on the perimeter. Yes. Imagine Angel Ru- Reese trying to bruise against Reggie Evans. Like it wouldn't work. <laughs> it would just be impossible. <laughs> it wouldn't work exactly. So because she's know, a man. bruiser, right? Yeah, <laughs> she plays in the paint. Yeah, that's just. That but just speaking of basketball, yo, over the weekend I went to the All Canada game. These high school kids. Yeah, they're being fed different stuff. Oh my goodness gracious, bro! These are it's different now. These kids, one through five. Is jumping out the gym. Really? Drop steps in the layup line. Really, like, yeah. really mm-hmm. good. Like they're playing really well. The the seven foot four dude from IMG, he was playing. Oliver what's his oh name. Oh my god, I seen Kyle Parkinson take a picture with him. And he looked like a little person. Bro, <laughs> that guy when he dunks. <laughs> that's great. That's These correct. are high school basketball players in the GTA. Or in all of Canada. No. How tall is this Canada. kid that you're ta- referring to? He's like seven, seven foot four. four. That's Woo! Right. Bro, he's he Canadian? dunks. From where? Yeah, he's from yeah. Quebec. But you he think plays he's going at, to the NBA? He plays at IMG. He's going D1 for sure. I don't know if he's going to the league. He's at he seven, can't really four? Move. He can't really move. It's different now. It's different mm. now. You have to be mobile. He mm. can't really Fair. move. It's a bit of an easy matchup. I had to cover a seven foot three guy in high school once. Really? Uh, what's you just push him out? Oh, the brown guy? Yeah, you just got to run. Sim oh. or Tanvir? Uh, Sim. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, Sim, yeah. when I was in fifth grade, he was this on, guy was sick. Yo, something. I had to cover him and Dylan Brooks. Like, my Dylan Brooks was, like, my off kind of, like, it was like, all right, I get to rest a little bit. It sucked. That's man. crazy. Basic Henry mm. But, yeah, when, I think his name is Oliver, he would dunk, and, like, when he comes down on his dunk, he's on the ground, and he's still holding the rim. Ew. Like, oh my God. That's so gross. But, I don't like yeah, that no, these, these kids, they're different. No. The kids are different. Yeah. If yeah. I had a son that tall, I don't even know what I'd do. They have to play sports. You'd have to. Or your life is terrible. Keep them fat. Like, like keep them fat. No, like for, like a, the, for the weight to distribute and everything and yeah. him being like healthy and everything. Like I could just imagine logistically that yeah. being crazy. Are you, no, are you jealous of dudes that are like seven something? No. no Bro, my cousin, me and my cousin, we were literally talking about this yesterday. No. If you're over like six, five and you're not a professional athlete, life must be, like, very hard. Why? Because people always ask you, like, oh, do you play basketball? Or you should go to the NBA? Or, or if well, you at least have a career. No, that there's you can that. But also, it's very hard to find clothes, mm. shoes. Big and tall. Oh. Well, you can't get drip yeah. at big and tall. Yeah. You can't Hotel get kicks at big and tall. A mess. Yeah, like yeah. doorways, God, showers, cars, sitting in cars, sitting on the plane, mm. like... Mm. That's tough. And it, then you like die 10 years earlier. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they say the life expectancy when you're like super tall is definitely uh-huh. shorter. So that mm-hmm. must suck. If I was like six, and I remember when I was a kid and like I was playing basketball, I, I wanted to be six, eight. That was the height that I wanted to be. Oh, yeah. And I was so glad that I never, I never became six, six eight. eight is very tall. Yeah. It is. Like, I think, my, height, yeah. I think my cousin is like six, eight, six, nine. Doesn't play basketball, by the way. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Doesn't play basketball. He's just, He's from Yod. Oh, so, yeah. oh yeah. six eight in Yod is crazy. He's tall. Because <laughs> yeah, imagine t- how long his capris are. <laughs> <laughs> They're like your regular pants. Yeah, it's probably his capris, his yeah. Clark's 
A size 17. They have yeah. to sew two he's a clugs big guy. together. I, I bet he can hang the shit out of a star on a Christmas tree. Like, yeah, he's, uh, he's a big yeah, guy. Yeah. But yeah, he's like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, and yeah, he's never played ball. Mm-hmm. Then he tried to play soccer once, and we were like, what the hell are you trying to play soccer for? Like, yeah, he could just be like a goalie. Yeah, he could be a goalie. Yeah. Also, if you're tall, like you can't, you're not allowed to dance. Yeah, what? You, nah, you get roasted like gorilla. You can't dance. Like goofy gorilla. <laughs> goofy gorilla. <Yeah. laughs> You can't you dance if you're tall. Like, like these yes, and muscular can. is more is more. Uh, you can't dance if you're tall and you dance. I'm <laughs> yeah. tall like, to like the muscular average. Muscular makes no, it worse. No, 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 no. It's both. I'm both. tall so to the average person, but no, I'm talking about like you're if tall. you're no. if you're He's six right, you nine. Can't dance. You can't dance. You can't start yeah. start doing the. I just want to rock. Did you see the guy on Love Island? The the guy on Love Island who they found his like dancing moves. You watch it. You. You know the, the picture of Draymond and, and LeBron at, at Draymond's wedding mm. when they're dancing. The picture of them dancing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't dance Fuck at six nine. No, but Lamar, oh, no, not Lamar. What's his name? LeBron dances. Yeah, and it's yeah. not weird. And look at the video of him but coming he's... on stage on sicko mode when Drake brought him and Travis out, and it looks no. crazy. He looks ridiculous. LeBron no. can oh, dance because he's LeBron. Okay, you guys are no. Now there's too many Shaq, exceptions. Shaq can dance because he's Shaq. If you saw a seven foot two dude dancing, I gotta find him. You would look at him There's crazy. There's him hitting no. them folks, and it looks outrageous. Who? Shaq. Shaq. <laughs> I'm saying you can get anything off if you have a name like that, but you no. Can't. I think no. I think if you can dance, you can dance. No. Whether you're tall or you're no. no. You're saying this in theory, not in practice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm guarantee if you were at the club yeah. and a six foot ten dude started dancing right in front of you, you're gonna look at him like he's insane. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Mm-hmm. Anyway, speaking of being tall and playing into so genetics, uh, there was an article recently where apparently Kim Kardashian stated that she wanted. To, apparently, Kim Kardashian and OBJ are dating. By the way, which is crazy. I thought OBJ was dating that light girl. He got pregnant. His girl. Oh, I thought, I thought Lolo. Say, God. Yeah. I thought they were. You said no, go ahead. <laughs> people. There are rumors that he does dabble, but oh, I would yeah, never yeah, co-sign sorry, that. Yeah. I don't. Know. They put that on everybody's jacket. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yeah. My what bad. did you say again? My Women. Bad, <laughs> you don't say it. It's right. But um, think about it though. Every <laughs> oh, every God. guy that they say is a gallus. Someone also they try to in, in um. You're right. Imply look at me engaging in that. My fault. That's man. not true. It is. Who who is they a gallus that they say Chris is Brown was gay? They never said Chris Brown was. They never said Chris You've Brown was gay. There Brown were rumors gay about him in the Frico papers. Who? Chris Brown. What Frico? I've definitely oh, heard. Yeah, yeah, I heard. I heard his name being mentioned. No, I've heard those rumors. You never heard Trey nah, that's songs, that, but it's because mm, nah, that's why Chris Brown joined the gang. Though. Trey songs, kinda. You've heard the Trey songs rumors. Uh, you've never heard about. Uh, they try no. to Trey. They, they try to say Drake is gay all the time. <laughs> For sure, but yeah, yeah. I wouldn't put Drake respectfully. I, I wouldn't put Odell Drake one, in yeah, like the Odell the, ones are crazy. In a Gallus? No. Well, g- oh, you're talking about Gallus are good looking. Gallus. I'm just saying men who like okay. are uh, known to be around a lot of women. They always try to say mm-hmm. that they're gay. I don't. I know Chris Brown. Chris Brown never got think, the gay uh, card. Yeah, but it's because he's Pyru though. You know what I mean? He's what? He's Pyru. What's that? He's he's blood. He's blood. oh god. <laughs> You guys are so annoying. <laughs> Anyways, so apparently there's an article, Kim Kardashian and OBJ are dating or, mm. you know, being seen together, out, whatever, whatever. There was an article saying, so it's a known thing that Kim Kardashian has a lot of embryos, right? So she froze her eggs. Oh, um, I remember watching that episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So yeah, up. Kim Kardashian has a, apparently she has a few frozen eggs left. And also was confirmed on, because I watch, you know, I love My Real Housewives. On Real Housewives, Larsa Pippen also has a lot of frozen eggs because when her and Kim were friends, they did it together. Mm. So she has a bunch of frozen eggs in LA. Okay. And Kim has some frozen eggs left in LA as well. So there's an article saying that, you know, Kim Kardashian's open to having more kids, whatever, whatever. And she would love to have kids with OBJ because he has great genetics. How do we feel about that statement? I can't wait for the Kanye rant about like that. <laughs> him going at OBJ and the nicknames he comes up with him. That that the first that's the first place my parade went. That will be exciting. Mm-hmm. But I didn't even think about Kanye when I thought about that. Yeah, I never thought about I, that. I just thought oh, Kanye's not gonna like that shit. But mm. surprise he's quiet. I mean, OBJ has good genetics though. He's tall. I mean, she's not wrong. He's not tall. He's a good yeah, looking dude. He only like six OBJ, feet? He's I wouldn't even give him that. Yeah, he's not tall, okay. but he's uh. clearly athletic. Yeah. He's a good looking dude. Do you think that's what she meant by genetics though? Yeah. I think she just meant good looking and black. That's oh, how okay, I, right. I, think I don't think so. Cause I'm Kim Kardashian has been with good looking black people. I guess that's the point though. You're okay. Saying, okay. Exactly. No, you're, but so why would she pick she, him out of all of them? 
No, but not picking my to get more mixed babies. Yeah, like not even mixed babies, but like you know, like. She usually dates black athletes. She dated yeah. Reggie Bush. Mm-hmm. Then it was, it's an optics. I think there's yeah. optics are playing. And into to this say that sure. like this man has good genetics, so she like not even like oh yeah like we have a strong relationship. Like I would like, <laughs> just like I would love to come with him. He has great genetics, and you're rich enough to freeze your eggs, mm-hmm. keep them there, and then if this if you want to extract this man's sperm and he's down, you could just make these babies. Put them in somebody else to carry, and now you have these great genetics. Hey man, I get it. She's the, they're. It seems odd to me. The rich and famous. She's just trying to Mister Potato Head some kids. <laughs> I hate. That, to me, that's very weird. Like like would you? Would you think ethically? You feel it's like wrong? Just yeah. a little. I just okay. feel like because like you know like with my job like we learn a lot about like just different things in the medical industry, right? And we learn a lot about like infertility. You know, women have to how expensive it is to like do IVF or to like. I'm not saying like yes, she has the money, she can do it. I just think like if it gets to a point where like oh my god, I have all these eggs and like let me just find some good looking men to have kids with and like you said mr potato a fine ass like to me it's just weird when like there's so many women struggling with their actual husband or you know actual partner to have these kids because infertility but Mm -hmm. what can she do about that no nothing but i'm just saying like the statement just seems a little tone deaf yeah oh it's definitely tone deaf it definitely is i didn't hear the context of it i would assume that she said it like as a joke as a joke yeah i would assume so but i get what you're saying you're not wrong in the middle of a convo it could make sense like, if someone but, told you, like, if you were, like, seeing a girl, she's like, oh, my God, yeah, I love Chapter Stores kids. He has great genetics. That wouldn't rub you the wrong way? No, because I think she's, like, she's, she's But if I was a shit. white woman, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You kind of see it now. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends. It's like, hashtag like, do we have, babies. Do we have that yeah, relationship? Yeah, give a little bit of that energy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because if yeah. she said that, point, point me. if she said that about uh, that Travis Kelsey, then we wouldn't be having this convo, right? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. It's just because Odell's <laughs> black. We wouldn't. Maybe not. No. Yeah. No, we wouldn't. Okay. Well, there's, I don't know. I don't want to make this not fun either, but there's just a lot of things with black people and genetics and, ge- and yeah, bioengineering and, exactly. and all ugly histories. So yeah. I'm not going to go there. I'll, that's as far as I'll go. But I yeah. could be wrong. It's a sore spot. And you guys feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but. I just assume, I think this is one of those situations that we're just thinking too deep into it. She was trying to make a joke. Mm-hmm. And, Probably. And like, you know, it was tone Damn. deaf. Uh, sorry. Caitlin Clark just hit a three. <laughs> it was tone deaf, but I think she was just chatting. Fair. Yeah. Fair, fair. I, but you know how like, I'm totally, make certain jokes but too. I'm totally, totally for 2024 and on. I am totally for just... How many times did you start to say totally? <laughs> I'm totally for just le- like... Like, totally, totally, totally. take the stick out of your ass. Yeah, okay. Pause. And Ooh. put it where? Throw it across the street. Ooh, what like, the- just relax. Oh, yeah. Like, just chill. Like, everything doesn't need a think <laughs> piece. You, I don't know. <laughs> you could have, like... Yeah. She could be wrong, and you could look at it sideways, but mm. side-eye it and keep it moving. We don't mm-hmm. need a discourse on Kim Kardashian and Odell Beckham. It's know? not a discourse. I'm just saying, you know, there's certain things I just feel like you got to. Yeah. Like there's know? bigger problems in life. She's transferring wealth to a black family. Good on you. Good Dr. Good Umar. <laughs> no, he wouldn't like Wait, it. What? But Dr. Umar would not like it. I, no, I, I stopped myself. Did you guys watch the video? <laughs> I posted <laughs> oh, I posted God. the preview of um. Oh. Davis had the video called Dr. Umar Meets My White Girlfriend. Yeah, I yeah, seen that. I saw. But like, what? Like, I don't understand. That, Who saw that was amazing. It was Davis, a content creator. Yeah, he's a part of AMP, like with Kai and Duke. Oh, and I didn't know. Okay, that. which which one? Sorry, Davis. Okay, so he got this girl, like an actor or something, to pretend to be his. Girlfriend. Oh, it was an actor. It was not. Yeah, his no, it's not. Oh. His girlfriend. He's dating a black girl. Okay, so he got this white girl to pretend to be his girlfriend. He's doing an interview with Doctor Umar, pretending to have relationship issues. So Doctor Umar is like counseling him. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to bring my girlfriend out. And she comes out, and you should see the look on Dr. Umar's face when this white girl came out. And then she tried to she tried to give him a hug, and he's like, no, no thank way. you. And like, oh, just gave her like a fist on. bump, and she sat down on the couch and like scooted away from her. No. It was so funny. Do you so think he's ever acting? Funny. No, no. I, th- I think that's him. He's standing on business. You think that's actually the that's way he is, like he is? That's why mm-hmm. he's one of the best content creators out there right now. Yeah. It's authentic. It's real, and it's a shtick that like he goes to sleep and wakes up that mm-hmm. way. Like he he lives his raps. Because one so time funny. he got quote unquote caught lacking, and it was just because he was trying to get his phone fixed. Mm. You know what I mean, that's, yeah, I believe that. Ever since then, 
He is. He's one of my dream podcast guests. Like I, Doctor Umar. Yeah, he's That's coming. Crazy. He's coming to Toronto in June. I don't. Is think we he? Can, yeah. We can't afford his. Yeah, you, you got to pay him though. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that. that but I feel him. like I. We could pull the you know support a black woman. Mm, I don't know. If don't you know. ask, I feel like if I ask, none of I you, none of you two could ask. <laughs> but if so, you ask. Doctor Umar's about his bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like you know. You want to up the black community? And I think your Joe Budden black. had to pay for Dr. Joe, Umar. Joe Budden's yeah. a man. I'm talking about you coming on here to uplift a black woman's platform. I don't know. I, listen, I'm a finesse. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I'm you a think sweet you talker. Could, can, you, you can convince Dr. Umar to come? If I position it like, you know, like. For like hello? you think you're like you would be the first one to get no, it done? No, definitely not. But I mean, there's not a lot of me's. So. <laughs> <That> talk to <laughs> Talk <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of me's okay. So I mean I'm sure you know I'm wearing a dashiki and a kufi But if I Dr. did Umar say for example out. I did flex some muscle mm-hmm. And got Dr. Umar on this show Like what would you like what are we, what are we doing We have to wear oh, tribal yeah. like no, we don't. Everything That's just being insane <laughs> like you're, you're pushing it I'm wearing a dashiki I'm wearing everything I'm, are you, I'm going to my auntie's house I'm getting her to make me like a <laughs> make yeah, We're all wearing crazy. the shikis I'm, I'm not wearing wearing You custom. cannot He doesn't come for you well, mm-hmm. I have to. Well, like, no, 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 he's not. <laughs> no, he no, wouldn't. He's not. He's not like because that. He's not like light skin people. Because Maybe? according, nah. because according to Doctor Umar, he said if one of your parents is black mm-hmm. and you identify psychologically as African, then you Turn are black. Shit up. We would have to argue about that. <laughs> That's what he said. That's, that would be a great. Ar- we would have to That's argue. What, he said. <laughs> what did he say That's about Doctor Umar? Said what did he say about chocolate milk again? <laughs> oh, he said because <laughs> he said this is because the analogy. girl the. The white girl said, oh, so, like, you know, I'm trying to hook up with you type vibe. And Dr. Umar was like, no, thank you. I only, I only, drink, chocolate. I only drink chocolate milk and right. stared right in the camera. Is he no, married? No, no, no. He don't know, but no. he didn't. It's, it was like a light skin thing. He's oh, like, the one drop. Because he's like, uh, you can't a make, drop of, you can't make chocolate milk from white milk. Or there we go. Like that. Yeah. There you, <laughs> <laughs> like, you can make, oh, like you I can saw. make, oh. you can, no, you can make milk chocolate, but you can't make yeah. chocolate milk. You can't make chocolate milk white. Yeah, you can yeah, make white milk yeah. chocolate. So if you have mm. black in you, then you could be considered black. So, so where, I would have to argue with that. So that's him. one thing you disagree with Umar about. For sure. But like, what's like the biggest thing but that you I, disagree, you guys disagree with Dr. Umar about? That I disagree? Mm. I believe. I don't even know. Like, I don't I think. think he, we all know what he thinks. Like, yeah. I don't think that if you marry someone who's not black, you are consciously contributing to the advancement of a different race than your own. <laughs> mm. I don't believe that. Okay, yeah. I'll say that. Fair enough. I, I don't believe that. That's like the the the, the classic. Like, you can't be pro black with a white wife thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't. And I didn't also, say I disagree or not, but Zoe, you go. And also, <laughs> I've never heard Doctor Umar talk. Like I hear Doctor Umar talk about like white people. I've never heard. <laughs> I've never heard his views <laughs> on people um, who like aren't white. Like, what oh, if your like, wife is like Indian or Spanish? Oh, he still doesn't rate it. Something. Yeah, he, he still doesn't rate it. Yeah, yeah, but but is there yeah, tears? Yeah, yeah. Like, is it like white is the like the worst, the worst for him? I, <laughs> but like, if she's like, I have an unreleased song that I sampled. A Dr. Wait, Umar what? a Dr. Umar rant. And then Wait, you have an unreleased song. Yeah, you know come on. We all have like bare songs. We all songs, got right? unreleased. Who's we all? <laughs> Us three. You know what I mean? Us three have yeah, unreleased. You, you don't know about his rap career back <laughs> in the day either. You don't know about Clyde's rap career. I don't have no unreleased song. Okay. Um and he said everything is bad except for black. Like he <laughs> <laughs> So okay. no. That's funny. You I don't mean, think he'd bully you and make you walk off your own show or anything like that? I wouldn't. I would never walk off my own show. Hey, I but, mean, there's people out there. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think you can argue with Doctor. If Doctor Umar says you could be half white and be black, then hey. I would have to argue otherwise. <laughs> but what about the pro-black part? But what would? <laughs> why are you trying to? Bring but what would you your, not? Because she made a big face. But what would your argument be? Yeah. What? For, you are equally white as you are black. She, we know her argument. She, no, no, yeah. no, no. Well, like, yeah, we me, know that. But you're the, equally black as you are white. So, so and like if, I said, oh wait, wait, sorry, say that again. So yeah. to me, I hate talking about the people. Gonna be like, oh my god. To me, it's oh. like there is when you are mixed with half black, half white, or if you're mixed, okay, that half, half black because of the one drop rule, mm. right? If you had any black in you whatsoever, you were considered black mm-hmm. because if you had any black in you, you were considered less than, yeah, mm-hmm. right. But the simple fact is you are made of two races. You are biracial. Mm. You are equally white as you are black. Mm. So it's like to identify as black 
mm-hmm. is just upholding the one drop rule because we only identify you as black because technically like you are not good enough to be considered white so what's the percentage where but, you but so my thing is if but if you are if you meet someone who's half bl- or half indian half white you're not gonna call them indian mm-hmm. yeah. it's only with the black community we do that when any other two races mix like i know a girl who's half white half indian i yeah. know a girl who's half spanish half white they never choose one over the other mm-hmm. it's i'm always this and this but right, I, but I feel so like in the black community with the one drop rule, mm-hmm. whenever it's white and black, it's, it's automatically well, you're black. But I feel like that's missing context, though. Yeah. Why? Because um, being African American is a very specific biracial thing that is only like that's only counts for African Americans. I don't think it's biracial. Like being African American is their race. Like African, you are that's your race. Yeah, no, yeah, but, but they all have white in but them. But what? No, but African Americans, pretty much. Nah. They average like they average like twenty percent European. No, average. but what I'm saying is because, of, because like, you're African American and you can't trace your lineage. If you well, I are, mean, you can well, it's harder to trace your lineage. I think if you because are because the lineage is in. I mean, unless you trace it before the slave trade. Yeah, I know, but but for other ethnicities. Odds are maybe 9.9 times out of 10, if your parents aren't immigrants, your grandparents are immigrants. And if they're not immigrants, then your great-grandparents are immigrants. So it's way easier to trace your lineage. So I don't think they can, I don't think they would like pick one because... But what's your argument? I don't your argument. If you're African-American, like if you're black and say white, right? Yes, you're black and you're white, but... If you're African American, like African American and Black American, are there two different things? The well, uh, it matters. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because all I'm saying is they black couldn't. They, yeah. they, they, it would be harder for them to like identify specifically like where they're from. So I don't. But think we're talking they, about biracial between white and black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whether it's white and African American or white and Black American. Yeah, but I'm just saying because of how they got there, that specifically they wouldn't be able to really... Like, you guys get what I'm saying? No, not at all. I'm lost. That's how we got here. I'm a little... I'm a little um, <laughs> <laughs> I, do have, I do have one question that's a little adjacent. So if, like, just based on, like, what you're saying too, right? Like, if you're, like, you're half black, you're half white, then, like, your race is, you're mixed, you're biracial, right? Mm. So then if somebody's, like, half native and half Asian, they're, that's their race, they're mixed, right? Mm-hmm. Am Indigenous I the, and Asian, yeah. Am yeah. I the, so? Me and that person are the same race. Mm. Yeah, like biracial isn't really a race. Mm. Like it would be uh, tough to. Well, you, you're saying it is though, right? Or is each mix its own individual race? If you're half black and half white, but, that's its uh, own but race. biracial if you're isn't half Asian a race. Half... You're just made of two races. You know what I mean? Like okay, that's so your. I... So then, well, like, but you, but, but you're so saying doesn't everybody that... have to have a race? So if you're mixed, you don't have a race. You can't not. You can't not have a race. I'm just, that's why I'm asking because because if you I mean, choose one of them, it doesn't yeah, really like. I'm but, asking well, based on saying, your logic, right? Yeah, she's saying. But you okay, have two. but okay, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. So then it's hard because it's get like. That. So then what do I if like I don't? I'm so, not. But saying someone that I'm the who same. is say so someone who is Asian and white. What do they like, do? You just choose which one you look more. I'm asking. Like, I'm like, asking like, what's oh, the? I don't know. And I'm not the one. But someone else. But the one drop. No races. But the one drop rule. Is like a, a African American thing, no? Well, yeah. it's from slavery. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that's why they say black. They use it, the yeah. one drop rule doesn't apply if you're Chinese and Punjabi. That's my point. It does get tricky trying to apply American rules to places that aren't. American. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's different the thing. Caste yeah. System. So yeah. yeah, I don't think there is a definitive answer to what I'm asking, but just that's kind of where I get tripped. But up also, what I, if because like so if someone's half black, half Asian, they're black. No, well, I'm, people I'm would asking consider what, them like to I'm, me. Yes, people would consider them black. <laughs> I'm not bothering with that. People issue. would consider them black, it's not but not also being they're not the same race as me if they're it's half black and bothered. half Asian, right? Like that's they're me and them are different races because one of the they're half Asian. I have yeah, no Asian right. anything in me. So, well, so y'all how do both I, biracial? How, Okay, it's in like different ways. I, so I can be the same biracial, race as someone that has biracial no race. Biracial in with different you. ways. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I don't know. I'll allow it. I don't know. We'll but revisit so that if, one when Umar comes. But we so, what if your skin, feet. like, what if you're like dark as a mixed person? Would you still not consider them black? Like, there's mixed people like, who are half white that are darker than you. Right. Would you say that they're not black, even though their skin is darker than yours? It's just hard for me to call you black if you have a white parent. But I know I'm asking you. You know if their saying? skin is yeah, darker, but, but, listen, but listen to what I'm he's asking. asking you a question. If their skin is darker than yours, mm-hmm. would you still not consider them black? 
Is like, your mother white? Yes. Yeah. They're biracial. Yeah. Obama not darker than you? Is he? So Obama's not the first <laughs> black president then? No, there's never been a black president. So there's never been a black logic, president? According to this logic. Chile not darker than you? Chile's what? Half Indian, half black? Yeah, she not darker than you? But are we doing like one of the like, biggest like <laughs> black activist people? Malcolm X is not it's not a black man. I mean, he's a quarter. White. He's a quarter. I don't think he's, he's a half. quarter black. Bob, Bob Marley's well, quarter, half white. A quarter white. Quarter white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Marley's half white. Black people claim Bob Marley for sure. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I, don't don't get me wrong. There's a lot of nuances into this conversation. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like, figure, we need to figure I, out that nuance. If I'm not black, then I, right. we need to figure out what race I am. Because, I'm not yeah, the same you race wouldn't, you someone, wouldn't be the same race as someone who's half Asian, half black. Because yeah. you're not, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But my thing is, if you, okay, say you're doing like a, a, a DEI survey at work. And it's like black, <laughs> and it's like biracial black. is not a checkbox. Yes, if, yes if biracial is, is definitely one hundred percent biracial. If there. Mixed is it's there, biracial. I'll check that. These guys would know. <laughs> no, there's, just, I, there's biracial and multiracial. It's not always there. It's 100%. not always there, though. That's the thing. It, oh, it's not always there. There isn't always an other or mixed or biracial. So if there's box. no biracial, you're clicking black. black. If there's no okay. mixed box, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't. Mm. <laughs> and you're clicking. And my thing is, if you wanted to go as white one day. I don't I know, think you I'm could, saying, but you couldn't. Because of phenotypes. Yes. Because you have the features. All right, now we're using black. words. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, no, but she's in her bag now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. She's so in her bag right, now. Because of phenotypes, you look, you look, you can look at you, but okay, he has black in him. That's a real thing. You, you yeah. Know, like, okay, they got black in them. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, I see. But my, but I'm saying, if one day you're like, bro, I want, I want to be white. Like, could you're you not, be? You're, no, you you're, couldn't. You're, you're you allowing can. that? No, I'm just saying because oh. he, can't go to the bank and be like, actually, white. I'm white. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And That's just the way cheese. it is. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> he can't. He yeah. can't do that. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think, that. I just I just think it's tough. And we could, we could move on. We for could sure. talk about this too long. Yeah. I just, I feel sorry for, <laughs> for mixed people because if they don't, yeah. if they don't jack being black, like if they fully committed to their white side, black people would, Kill them, but that's my thing. So that's what I'm also trying to say before we move on. There's also the biracial experience that me or like none of us could ever relate to. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like you guys have your own experience of having two different races and like of like your mom, whether your mom, whatever it is. There's literally a biracial experience that I would never understand, ever. I mean, you, so I you can like understand it better than a white experience, but yes, mm -hmm. for sure, I definitely you know? could. But I feel like you know. Having white family and black family or Asian, whatever it is, that's your own experience that I feel like shouldn't be taken away from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I agree that, yes, it's probably closer to the black experience than the white experience. Yeah. Depending on kind of who raised you. But I asked the question, but, what's the answer? Like, what's the percentage, though? What do you mean? That you would count as black. Like, if you say you have what, if you're 50% white, you don't count it they necessarily. They say four black grandparents. What's the percentage yeah. then? So if your grandmother to, is white. According to the cult, cult people on the, <laughs> yeah. Twitter. On the internet, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're saying four black, you can be black That's or cap. four black grandparents makes you black. I'm not jacking that. Because if three of, I'm not jacking that. Because if three of my grandparents are black and one of them is Indian, you're not going to tell me I'm not black. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way you would tell me I'm not black. And by the way, you'd be about as black genetically the as the average African American. But I'm not gonna lie to you, my little cousins—they have three black grandparents, one white, mm. and they look very, very biracial. Yeah, you can. Uh -huh. So Damn, to me, that, I, that one was white as fuck. Was she Polish or something? <laughs> and then in that sense too, then someone like Steph like Curry. Like they look like, but it's funny because the first, there's three boys. The mm. older two look very biracial. The youngest one looks dark. He's darker. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting. You're right. It's interesting how, like I said, it's it's genetics. It's phenotypes. So race is a social construct, right? Yeah, at the end of the a, day. It's mm -hmm. all. But it's, it's interesting because if what if the older two are like, yeah, I'm black. I promise you guys would be like. Like, like, look at this little big skin out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's, it, it's di like, he looks like Trey, but he has three black grandparents and one white. It, it's, on, it's, it's the way genetics work. Uh, well, but, we'll see if Dr. Umar ever comes. You can, <laughs> you and him could have that debate. Uh, yeah. That'll yeah. That'll get intense. And the pro-black thing is something completely different. I was not even I mean, I mean, hopefully he doesn't bully you off your own show. Right? <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, at the end of the day, listen, I agree to disagree. That's yeah. it. Hands up. Agree to disagree. Right. Because... Mm -hmm. I've had this dance for a long time. The mm -hmm. pro black one, I'm not gonna do here. That one, oh, I'll okay. get into if Dr. Umar ever comes on this show. That's when. That's when you'll visit that topic. Sure, okay. I, yeah. that's a very touchy topic for people. I'll talk about it off air. True, especially if you have friends with you know white partners. Yeah, and shit. but my thing is, you also have to define what pro black is before you can even get into. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And I think people don't really realize what pro black is. That episode's getting paywalled. Yeah, because <laughs> you can be like. 
like I said, before I move on, like mm-hmm. you can be, you can have a black family and still not be pro black. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I feel like people don't really understand what like pro black is a literal social move, like uh, mm-hmm. it's social, economic. It's all, yeah, like, it's much more militant than people way think. Way more much. Yeah. So like I said, I sometimes even question how pro black I am. Jeez. I'm not gonna lie to you because <laughs> you of be how white? You, you have to be black to be pro black, though, right? <laughs> Yeah, you can't be white. I mean, you you can be. <laughs> no, I'm uh, asking, I'm that's a good question. You. What if you marry? A, what if you, as a white person, marry a black person? No, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Yo. Well, yeah, Doctor Umar wouldn't count hard. it. Like, you can't. <laughs> no, but that thing you can. Doctor Umar would not count it. You can. Your mom. First of all, <laughs> you love your mom. Don't do that. We love but you, <laughs> your mom. I would say is like. And I hate using the word ally, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah no, yes. and I think that distinction She's makes understandable. sense. She's yeah, understandable, yeah, yeah. you know, stuff like that, but it's like... Can I be pro-black? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Mucho. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Gotta work. Imagine, it's hard to be pro-black as a mixed guy. Imagine how tough it is as can a... Can Donald joking. Trump be pro-black? <laughs> he could be pro-Latino. <laughs> Latinos for, Latinos for Trump. Latinos for Trump. <laughs> there you go. Do we all not think that was a great ad? That was a banger song. I mean, I'll see that. I'm trying to find it on streamer. That was a banger song. No. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, Latinos We for all Trump. follow Trump, right? No. No? no? Oh, we, yeah. We all We. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. We don't speak French. My bad. We all follow, we all follow <laughs> Trump is a wild yeah. statement to make. All right, my fault. That's how you get the news quicker, no? Are you going to wait for CNN to repost it? We do not um, all follow Trump. All right, all right, all right. When he was the president, it was a little bit more fun, I feel. True. So you'll, you'll wait for six months then. I guess. <laughs> who, who gets more nervous? Uh, a guy that a girl's who um, his girl just went through his phone or a white person when you ask them about black issues? Ooh. A white person when you ask them about black Ooh. issues? I don't think so. I think a guy. Uh, wait, say a guy with what? When his, a girl that his girl just went through his phone and she's questioning him. Who's Mom more nervous? That. I think a white person with black issues for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I for think sure. the phone is more because I feel like I'm you can to, be yeah. per, you could be the most faithful, perfect like guy, and I think going through someone's phone, you could still see something yeah. that may look a certain way yeah. that isn't actually yeah, yeah, yeah. like you're looking for fire, right? Your girl going through your phone. Is, I don't know, though. I've never. Your had girl going experience. through your phone is like when the police are around. You know how you're just like you know you didn't do anything wrong, but you're still yeah, just uneasy. Yeah. Like you can do all the things right That's and a great still, analogy. And still yeah. lose. Yeah, if you're white, as long as you're good, just mm. as long as you're not, you're racist. just automatically uneasy. I it's guess. the same if your parents like have your phone in in their hand mm. and they're doing something. I feel uneasy. Your parents? I feel very. Yeah, uneasy. sometimes if I know I'm texting someone, my mom takes my phone. I'm like, oh god, please don't text. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, and I don't even have things that are scary like in yeah. my phone or like I'm not having. Yeah, it's crazy just you don't know if that's gonna be the like, one moment that your friend texts you just some wild like. It's more the the capacity for misunderstanding is like a hundred percent issue in yeah. that sort of scenario. Um, but also speaking of, uh, in this lob or not? What lob? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> no, I was gonna talk about because we talked about. Con- oh wow, LSU is losing, yo! Okay. What the hell? Sorry. Um. Malachi from South London. I know, and I was saying about bullying people off their own shows. Yes. Catching, mm. I'm catching a lot. Okay, good, good. So Malachi from South London. We talked about it last week, and we all know about the viral internet moment that went live with yeah. the UK Thanos talking about, you know, Malachi from South London. <laughs> that's great. That's, like what, that. that's what her name she, call, that's what she, she goes as UK Thanos. That yeah. is her name. Very fitting. Yeah. And she, you know, we have the whole Malachi from South London. I did not cheat you. I did not do you in my body and go home. Like she did all that, right? Good actor. So <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. She did an interview. <laughs> she did an interview. I forgot what the the publication or the media group was called. It was called like, off the record. I think it was called. I don't know. I, I know it's it's that Olani girl, the one who's always was tweeting. Olani? No, yeah. it wasn't Olani. Oh. No, it was not Olani. Was it not? No, it was her name was like Tam- Tamula like something bag. like that. It was not Olani. Hundred percent, it was not. Oh no, fair. her name's like Tamula. I or thought it was like Olani. You can search the interview, get to get her actual name, but it 100% was not Olani. Um, off the record? Yeah, off the record. Yes. So she did an off the record interview. It was 30 minutes. Um, I won't lie. This is the most entertaining 15 minutes of fame I've ever seen. <laughs> like, yo, that girl, she, first of all, she's only 18. What? Which, yes. Wait, mm-hmm. really? Oh, yes. my God. She's Where do you 18. Get slick talking like that is oh 18. Oh, my gosh. She's probably That's a God given talent. <laughs> she's 18. 
and she carries this interview like you would never believe. Mm. Like, first of all, to kind of get, cause did you guys watch the interview? You, I know you saw clips. I didn't I see it clips. start to finish, but I've okay. seen long segments of it, and like I, I get, I seen mostly what. Okay, I so yeah, you probably saw the highlights of it. I watched the full interview because I was like, I had time before I went to bed and I was bored, so I watched the full thirty minutes. It's hilarious. Um, the interviewer, you could tell right off the bat, and me as someone who you know we do interviews on this podcast, you kind of got to play. You can have your opinions and stuff, but you gotta gotta play not new. What's wrong with oh, you? Caitlin Clark has 37 points, Jesus. 7 rebounds, 12 assists. Jesus. <laughs> Angel Reese has 17 points and 20 rebounds. Like, this is amazing basketball. Levels. Well, Anyways. Um, and I was smacking them. Anyways. So, what was I saying? Is that the fourth quarter, too? Yeah. You're oh, saying she that. Better walk off the, she better walk off the floor and do this shit or oh something like that. If I was Caitlin like, Clark. You're talking saying, about as, an, as an interviewer, short. you have to let the interviewee yes, as talk. as an interviewer, you need to be like, you know, you can have your opinions and you can, you know, be a little on a side, but you have to kind of be a bit neutral. You can't come into an interview really being judgmental right off rip. And you can tell based on maybe the background info she had on this girl. She came into the interview, Loki kind of trying to like sun her, mm, you know? She was trying to, yeah. She was Loki trying to sun her. She was coming off very like prude and judgmental and kind of like standoffish right. and rude. And homegirl did not take that well. Yeah. Right? She was no, clapping she back at her. Ooh. Like this, this, like quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Okay. And she was saying things like, you know, because she asked her what she did for a living and she just laughed. <laughs> so usually when you ask a woman what she does for a living and she laughs, you know, it's on the <laughs> <laughs> it's on the side of, you know, possible OnlyFans. Ah, you know, maybe. Oh my god. Yeah. And then she went You didn't into, even try. <laughs> And then, you know, but she's like, and then she would get into it. And then she would get into it later. Yeah. And then she goes into, you know, uh, you know, what Malachi from London. And, you know, you, you went on the internet and said that he ate your body. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, that's kind of like a, that's taboo in London. Like it may be normal in other places, but in London, it's very like taboo, whatever, yeah. whatever. They're very conservative. Yeah. The and then she the was like, people. okay, well, you know, he pulled up, paid 400 pounds. And I let him eat my ass. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh, so she, he paid. She's like, yeah. So she's like, yeah, well, I let men pay to do things. What? She's like, yeah, like, she'll men will pay her to, like, suck her toes oh my God. or eat her coochie or eat her ass and whatever. But she doesn't let them have sex with her. See, my thing is, hold on, let me land. Yeah. She only takes money for, like, I guess, like, foreplay type things. Do you like, believe this? Um, I feel like if she had the right amount come to her, she would let someone fuck. 100%. Yeah. yeah okay. Maybe she's not fucking for the number. Maybe she's not fucking four hundred pounds. Yeah. But I'm yeah. sure. And she's saying the guys who are doing this are rappers. <laughs> Known rappers. Known rappers. Known. Paying to suck your toes and eat your yash. Yeah. And she and just turned it. eighteen. Was it Dutch of Ellie? <laughs> 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 what the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. Yo. Man, I need a sound effect from when you say shit like that. Bro. <laughs> like, Yo, people are bearing the lead with what she was saying in that interview. That's crazy. Whatever. Man. But the point is, oh you know, she, she just, the way she carried that whole interview, like, and even the girl, you can tell she's like, oh, well, you're 18, and you're, she called her a part-time prostitute. Well, she is. You know, and like, yes. And then she's like, oh, you're 18, and this, this, and that. And then she was kind of, you can tell, she was kind of, Trying to get like a rise out of yeah, her, yeah, yeah. and the girl clocked it. She was like, "Okay, it's mm-hmm. just like you're trying to like come for me, like type." You know what I'm saying? But like, you're old. Like you're trying. Basically, she's like, yeah, she so you're old. Like that so you're problem. old. You're trying to like come here and, and judge me yeah. on you know what I do and blah blah blah. But like you asked me to be here. Like this is my show now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you want to come? She said, "This is my show yes, now." No, that's, that, it, it didn't happen in that order. It was like she started cussing her out and saying, "Like, what have men done? What have you done with men?" And she's like, "It doesn't really matter. Like, it's between yeah. like you know me and me and that guy." And like, and then she's like, "Yeah, but like, it won't be between them if one of them goes and tells one of their friends there's a story time on TikTok and it doesn't change." And then like, what did she say? Like, and then she was like, like she was like, "Doesn't you want- change the fact you were probably getting fucked out behind yeah. bins." And she's I was like, like, "You probably you're getting fucked out at 18 behind the party." And the girl got up out her. She's like, "I'm gonna take a second. Ooh. And as she's walking off, she's talking shit to her as she's walking off. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like, she's like, I made her walk off her own interview. Like, someone's gonna go get her. So this is my show now. Does oh. someone wanna go check on her? Someone like, like, check on her. She's hard. hard. <laughs> and then she came back. She's like, we're gonna keep it cute. And she's like, okay, I'll keep it cute. You keep it cute. She's still talking yeah. shit. Yeah. As she's walking. And she's talking shit the whole time. I like your dress. 
And she's like, thank you. It's for old folks. She's like, yeah, she's like, it's giving senior. I was like, bro. No, she, <laughs> yo, what she said? <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she said it's over the older generation. She goes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, literally. And then, you know, they're going back and forth again, whatever, whatever. And then towards the end, it gets heated again. And the girl's trying to sign off. And she keeps interrupting her sign off. She's like, this is blah, blah, blah. It's like, and this is, you get it? It's like. I didn't see that part. Yeah, bro. The end, I was crying because she uh, would not let the girl get the last word. And yeah. she would try. He's like, no. She, what, she, this is my show now. I'm going to do the end. Where's the camera? And she's like, this is. And I'm like, yo, this girl's a demon. <laughs> like, she's having, yo, she's having a girl like, yo, like, you don't want smoke with that. Like, bro, you got exactly it. Exactly what you said. You don't want to get into arguments with these types of people. Yeah. Like, right. she is I battle like tested. I like it. Like, you don't want no smoke, man. You can't beat a professional barker. Oh, my I'll, God. I'll say this. I think she has a she has probably, like, a future in, like, the London media scape. Because, as you said, a lot of the people there are too conservative. Like, yeah. they're not. She has a lane. Yeah, they're not willing to. She could do the Charlemagne thing. Y- you feel me? Like, yeah, the female version. Yeah. You know? I She said, because they asked her what she wanted to do. Apparently, she wants to be a rapper. Oh, God. Oh, well, there is that one C China girl who's kind of, like, ratchet and shit. I don't know who that is. Mm. Uh, My thing with people knows. that say like, like her alleging that people just suck her toes and do whatever, whatever for money. For me, that that gives Cat Williams, you know, mm. three thousand books when I was eight years old. It gives <laughs> like <laughs> that, like that type of yeah. 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 Or lines. it gives influencers or content creators who say that like their rate is this but you've only been paid that one time, but now you're telling everyone that this is mm. what it is when that's not really what it is. It's just this is what it was once, and you're yeah. now trying to make that what it is. I feel that's like it might be one of those where it's like a man might have done that to her mm-hmm. maybe once or twice, yeah. but now you're saying, guys, pay me to do this. When I feel like that's pr- might not necessarily... Yeah, be a hundred percent accurate. Yeah, she got lucky with a drunk rapper one time, and now she's just yeah, running with it, making <laughs> it sound a lot better. But I mean, Which? she's eighteen. Also, like, what do we kind of expect? L- all right. And she says, "I sit in you sit in the dark. I sit in the daylight." That's I rate it. Ooh. I rate it. And I look. I'm not mad. Ooh, that's at that a bar. Either. Shamelessness. Yeah. I rate shameless. If she was, if she was doing some sort of Canada tour and had to be over here, would you have her on the pod? Yeah, I think she's good entertainment. Yeah, yeah, she, I think she she's is. funny. Yeah. Because yeah, that was the thing that the other lady was saying a lot. It was the, you don't have shame. You don't have shame. And she's like, bro, I don't care. Yeah. And I rate that. I mm-hmm. rate people like that. Because I think we're kind of like that too here. We're yeah. like, <laughs> Caribbean people and African people are very judgmental. They're big on yeah. shame. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd say we're somewhere in between. Like, yeah. America don't give a fuck. Just rad shit, like twerking at a kid's birthday party. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> we're, like, some, we're yeah, like, we're in the middle. somewhere in the middle. And then the UK London is just. They're very OD. conservative. Yeah. Really? Like, they're like. Ex- they're more conservative. Extreme. Yeah. They're very yeah. conservative. Yeah. Well, especially like the black population. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what she was saying. She kept calling it cun- cunnilingus. Like, who calls eating ass cunnilingus? <laughs> Like, what is UK that? Folk. The scientific term is crazy. Like, why are we Very using lo- big words for eating ass? You say eating ass. The queen's Or English. oral on the bum. Is that what it is? Is that what it's oral, oral bum? Bum oral? Analingus? Trousers. No, but I'm saying, oh, is it, it's analingus, not cunnilingus. Cunnilingus is for box. But okay, sorry. It's yeah, analingus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I'm saying, like... Rim job? You would prefer... Ew, we are never that's getting a very ads. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We are never getting ads. <laughs> why? <laughs> People say words on podcasting get ads. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? As long as it's not a cuss word. Call Her Daddy has crazy ads, and that podcast was crazy. Horrible yeah. Decisions has the word whore in it. Yeah, but all their ads are, like, <laughs> blue Yeah. yeah. yeah like, <laughs> you not trying to advertise with Trojan I, again? I call Her Daddy is white. That is true. So, so uh, only white people can be raunchy on their podcast and get paid? No, but it is a thing that, like, when we are, it's it's worse, you know? If black you got to break the stigma. Yeah. yeah. Break the stigma. Yeah. Be sure... Joe, mm-hmm. listen, Joe Budden. Yeah. I mean, he's also Joe Budden, but still. Yeah, what? You guys not trying to be Disney, yo. <laughs> 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 Gotta give him some. <laughs> you low-key have to. I feel like Marlon had, like, one of the most, when he was on, had a very, like, what's the word? He got ratchet? Wow. Not r- explicit episode. Marlon's just a natural cursor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural mm. cursor, <laughs> natural, you know. Iowa won. That's crazy. You There's going to be some tension. Year, you were doing this, and it didn't happen. All the barstool sports are going to be like, see you showboating blacks. It happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Do you remember how mad they were when she did that shit last oh year? Oh, my God. See, stay in your place. That's what's right. going to happen at barstool Yo. and Fox Sports. They're so no, A lot excited. of people think the right side just won. 
for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. And I hate that it's like white versus black. And didn't they say like good versus evil? Yeah. And the coach like would made a comment like, "Don't do that." Like, I mean, they did so that with with Larry and Magic too, right? Like, it's I kind of like it. The, the race war in <laughs> basketball. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Yeah. It makes things more entertaining. It's a little razzle dazzle. Yeah. White girls are definitely better than white guys at basketball in their comparative Ooh, sports. Oh, just like the Americans. Yeah, yeah. In for their sure. comparative sports, white white f- women hoopers are yeah. cold. That's mm. true. And they have like both sides. They have like the ones that are like kind of like swaggy with it and kind of black with it. Mm. Like, kind of black. You know what I mean? Like yeah, Paige or whatever. Play style. Yeah, and then you got the ones that are like, I don't want to say a derogatory word, like more like tomboyish. You know what I mean? Mm. Like Caitlin Clark. Yeah, yeah they have like yeah. different, they have different ways of doing it. Mm. I hear that. Uh, okay, another statement or topic that I had that's a little, uh, maybe a little, not sensitive, but awkward to talk about. The joint twins. Ooh. The the joint twins. I need a little bit of context. I okay, saw this so there's happen. these famous joint twins. Mm-hmm. It's literally conjoint. Conjoint. Yes, conjoint, sorry. Yeah. They're these famous conjoint twins, and I've seen them on TV and stuff before. Oh really? Yeah. They, I think they, I don't know if they have their own show or something like that, but they're these famous. Con- maybe on TLC. You know, TLC loves stories like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're these conjoint twins. They literally one body, two heads. One of them gets married. Only one of them got married. Yes. Huh. How do they consummate? So apparently, and let me try to. I fa- I don't I don't know how true this is. Oh my god! But what did you see? Party's I album just cover. Said, I just said that to Zoe. Par- you sent what to me? Oh my Good god! Lord. Hey, when you guys give me news while we're recording. Look at the album cover. Ah! That yeah. can't be the album cover. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. No. Is that allowed? That's what I'm saying. How are you going to put that on a that's billboard? That's crazy, Oh, that's man. fire. <laughs> Mucho? <laughs> what are we talking about? Are you serious? How, but how are you going to put that on a billboard? What's the difference between that no, and then... No, guys. What's the difference between that and Meg's concert? That well, that... Not the same well, why how is not, it... How what? is it different? Okay. <laughs> it's the same. What are, we, we aren't seeing any, like, bakas. You aren't seeing... The actual man inserting himself in her. So all you're seeing is her lower back. You can't su- put this on a billboard. But the suggestive nature of you it. You can put Meg on a billboard, though? With what? With what picture, though? The wet Me- t-shirt? Meg's whole no, booty crack was naked. out. The whole booty she's crack. She's literally I, naked. I didn't see that. And people were talking. Did we discuss the this about that? The whole booty crack was out. That's we discussed this official concert oh. flyer. No, okay, so yeah, maybe this is good. Thank you for sending this to me. This is maybe this is a good segue because okay. when Fuck Meg, the twins. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the twins. Fuck the twins. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Yeah. So yeah, when Meg, business. this is this is real party, real like I, that conversation, was like real reaction too. Like, <laughs> that was a real type reaction. That's my jaw That's that's so wild. when Meg, yeah. no, it is. is that it? No, 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 no. No, go to her it Twitter. Her, it's her bare ass. No, it's her concert. Go to her Twitter, man. Anyways, I don't have the Twitter app on my phone. Oh my god! It's because I'm gonna go on Twitter and go to Meg. Try to pull up Meg the Stallion's concert page, please. Yeah. So Meg the, the Stallion. Yes. So and when people posted it, some some girl made it went viral, and she said, "Bro, like, we are like North Americans are. We talked about this with Marlon, did we not? He I talked think about we did. the desexualization. We're yeah. so we like, kind of North about Americans are trip, so yeah. desens desens desensitized. Desens. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, good, thank you. It's a big word. Sound it out. Big word for Elmo. Americans, North Americans, are so desensitized to sex because, look, Meg Thee Stallion's literally butt ass naked on this like tour cover, mm-hmm. and like no one's really like saying nothing. Like she's literally ass naked just from the back. Yeah, and apparently that's just that's just normal. And when you think about it, it's like yeah, that's a little, it's a little like wild. you know I, I don't mind you know women's empowerment, yeah, all that it's great stuff, but it, mm. it is a little yeah. You're right. She literally is just butt ass naked, but ass crack too. Well, yes, as yeah, yeah, yeah. as crap. It's not this one either. No, it's not that. She's standing up, Tresor. Did, did you find it, Trey? She's standing up, and Glorilla's on it too. Mm-hmm. It's like, but Glorilla's fully dressed, and Meg Stallion's ass naked. Yeah. But regardless, you know, and it's like, yeah, it's like, yo, the, think about it, like, yeah, you don't realize this woman's literally just naked on her mm-hmm. album tour, like press. Yeah. It's not the same thing what? as party stick. What's the difference? Okay, well, can so I see it? Who has more ass <laughs> crack? Bring it no, up. No, no, they, they, they trimmed it. They, they trimmed, trimmed it. it. It's her whole ass. They trimmed it. Are it's you on her, her Instagram her, or her Twitter? Sorry. Oh. It's her. It's, oh, I see what she means. It was her yeah. whole ass. It's her whole. Yeah, that's the negative. Can I see you, please? The, <laughs> 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 
The party one is worse. The party one is definitely yeah, worse. The party, the party one is is worse. It's way okay, worse. I don't know. Maybe I am playing the The party's one is okay. way worse. Let me worse, see again. Though. The party one is worse. Easy. This is still like but who not has more ass crack though. Well, obviously Meg has more ass crack yeah. because so is it because it's implied that she's having yeah, sex? hundred su- percent. The suggestive nature of it is yeah. what makes the implication it bad. that she's literally getting her shit rocked. Yeah, like yeah. that. What else are you like? Thinking? If like if the camera's two inches lower, we are seeing her. Two asshole. inches, three centimeters lower. <laughs> <laughs> We're seeing her asshole. Someone has the original file of, like, the original JPEG of this, Ross. and it's a nude photo. Do you think that's a POV of Baca's right there? Is that the POV? That is that. Is that what y'all see? Oh, I don't know. I never is, put a woman in Baca's. That's before. what we see. Do you think she's spreading, or that's a POV of Baca's? What do you mean, do you think she's no, spreading? No, I think it's a pose. She's just like that. I think it's a pose. It's just a pose. Nobody's yeah. there? No. Okay. Or no, well, like, oh, someone's... Oh, I see. You think this is, like, you in think motion? You someone's, like, in no, a shit right No, it's not there. a screenshot from a video. I well, think sh- like that's the that, that was the seems shoot. like something party would do. That was the shoot. <laughs> that was the shoot. Okay. I think that was the shoot. And she has a tramp stamp. And the before on it. Are tramp stamps coming back? Let me know. I just I just want to know. I don't know. No, I don't know. Not for a wifey. Not for a wifey. Not for a wifey. That's no. funny. No. No, that's 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 he's on to something there. Come really? On now. Yeah, because what are you gonna put on a Relax. tramp stamp? Stra- tramp stamp that makes <laughs> it like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can't wait to marry him. That's not happening. Like I've never seen a stamp of something. I'm like, wow. Like that's really I saw really Twitter that said it's like yeah. art. Yeah. It said art. I saw one and it said go deeper. No, that's little. Oh, that's <laughs> OD. That's OD. <laughs> seen one that said come on. Come home? <laughs> no, come on. Oh, come that's on. gross. Like that's come on here. Ew. No. I like I like the art one. They're gonna have like art in like all lowercase. Okay. That one's cute. I I don't think uh, it's for other women. Like you do it so other women could be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically. I mean, <laughs> I just I, I I literally thought about the idea of a tram stamp before, but yeah. I was like, but y'all call even it even tra- the name, the name of what I know. As I said, like you guys call it tramp stamp, and then I was like, but like, what if only one man sees it? Like, what if I get it after? What if I get it after I'm married? Why would you get it after you're married? Because I want my man to see it. It's like dudes growing out their hair after. No, like, it's not the same. I don't think it's the same. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah. I think I don't know. I feel like it'd be it's a little sexy sure. if, like, you know, just maybe your person knows about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm shit. I'm not gonna talk for everyone. Maybe some niggas like that shit. But um, you wouldn't. No. If your wife came a chance of you, like, yo, what? You would be pissed. Yeah, you're wilding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you wilding though? Because why would you do that? Yeah. It's just the lower back tattoo. It's just a placement. Yeah, but you know what the placement is for. What's it for? If she's doing that, I'm getting a face tap. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, play ball, fight back. Yeah. Why? Cause both of it is kind of low-key respectability po- politics, but still, <laughs> we're not trying to see that shit. No. <laughs> okay, fair. I don't think I'm ever gonna get one, but I just, you know, was playing with it. But that I'm excited for this album now to talk about it. I mean, I love Party Next Door. P3 was meh. But P this is P three, that's like fucking eight years ago. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't really care for it. Like I don't. When's that was like a when's the last time listened to P three. What about no? But what about Never. Party Mobile? That was the last one. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't was, know. Still, it was no. pandemic. Yeah. We couldn't go outside for it. Oh, like, okay, okay. Maybe okay. you could, but P three was whatever. But. <laughs> one day I'm a, no, me and you and your yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know who this girl is. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> like I'm still looking at the photo. Speaking of pandemic, well, the internet of the. That account will find her. Guaranteed Our by G-Cal- tonight. <laughs> Yo, this is the thing with album covers. That's eh? like baby putting M. a girl in a crazy... No, it's not, man. You're <laughs> sick. Putting a girl on the album cover and then everybody wants to find that girl after. Like with the Her Loss cover and stuff. That happens with everything. Yeah. Even the girls that were in the... What was the Drake song? Nice and back, the two yeah. white girls were the stars of the Sorry. video. Oh, the the Break My Heart video? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If you went to those girls' Instagrams, like right after the video dropped... Flooded. I can imagine. So oh, how do you yeah. know Drake? Yeah. Why are you in the video? And Drake are you guys them. getting? Like, they lit- I think they like went up like seven hundred percent in followers. They definitely did. Yeah. Oh, Drake tagged them. Yes. Okay. I was about to be like, why were you on this shit, fam? Like, yeah. No, I, didn't yeah. Go no I looked too because I'm like, bro. I, I generally wanted to see what yeah. like. Okay, let me see where the followers are at now. Yeah. I'm gonna check back in two hours, and it was. I think probably went from like four thousand followers to like forty thousand followers within like yeah, a it day. It went crazy. It mm-hmm. was crazy. Yeah. Wild, but. You see how easy it is to just blow as a girl? Yeah, yeah. That's why we're talking about the difference between influencers and Well, it's not crazy. Drake tagged them. 
Yeah, but that but wouldn't happen. If he tagged two niggas, then like, it wouldn't. The, you're not going to. Yeah, like, man, them aren't getting tagged. And even if man, them do get tagged, you're not blowing like that. Yeah, you are. No, Mucho. you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, he didn't. He never posted me or anything. He just followed me. He followed but. you and commented, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but so. if he posted it, like, it probably yeah. would have like, been a different situation. You'd get a, sure. you'd get a spike, but yeah, I don't think your life is going to change because Drake tagged you in one picture. I don't think those girls' lives changed. Their, their life changed. Oh, their life so. changed. Not, not necessarily <laughs> monetarily, <laughs> but their yeah. life changed because even just now, with the eyes that are on you, you're in different rooms than rooms you were in before. Oh, Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Do you remember what they look like? It doesn't matter what they look like. They're I women. Yeah, but I don't mm. think it doesn't matter what they look like. They're I don't in, think they're, they're in. So you don't think they're in different rooms now than they were before the video? I feel like they were in those rooms before, which is why they're in the video. <laughs> what? Hundred percent. But they're in more rooms now. They're in what multiple. more rooms? What do you? They mean? were already in those rooms because Drake put them in. His, no, they were in, the stars of his video. They're in this room. <laughs> now multiple they're in Kai's dudes room. have multiple now rooms. Yeah, like. They're in Aiden's Chris room. Chris Brown has a room. Yeah. Oh. Kai has a room. Jake Paul has a room. Oh, God. Trey Songz has a room. Yeah. You know, there's multiple rooms. Oh. City has one. Now when you're I don't know about that room. <laughs> but, you don't know about whose room? <laughs> the last example he gave. Whose room was it? Jake Paul? No, Trey Songz. But oh, yeah. yeah. That room's done. Hopefully the door is locked. Hopefully they're not Like what the rooms? <laughs> Hopefully they, they have their air tag. Like yeah. we don't have rooms. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever swallowed an air tag? Would it just like? Are you insane? What's wrong with you? No, oh, like on some no, on some no, microchip no. shit. Yeah. To just like like what if? Nah, you're gonna nah. Like what if? You would just shit it out. Nah, what, yeah. Eventually, <laughs> body works. Spy shit to like Eventually really... but yeah, like what if it's one of those where it's like, yo, like people need to know where I am, but I'm gonna get searched. Oh, just swallow the air tag. You just changed the game for snitches, bro. An air tag is big to swallow, yo. And isn't your stomach acid put it in like a smoothie it? or something? Yeah, that too. And like it's it's a it's a battery in it. Like isn't that not that your stomach acid? No, I would not swallow an air tag. People yeah. swallow Coke. You Coke can swallow what? an air tag. Yeah, and if the bag bursts, you what? die. Drugs. Cola? Drugs. No. Oh. Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're right though. If the no, do you yeah, know? if you swallow know. bags of Coke and it bursts, you are you yeah, you're gonna let, die. you can die. Oh really? Yeah, can. you OD. You, you can. <laughs> no, you can depending on how much Coke it is, and yeah. anyway, you can definitely die. Yeah, but you yeah people do that in jails. They swallow coke bags and then doo doo it out in the jail. Yeah, or they just straight put it in their butt. How much would it take to put a coke? No, bag? None, <laughs> no. <laughs> there's How no much? amount of money. There's a you guys are liars. There's no yo. amount of you money. You guys are fronting for the camera. There's no <laughs> amount of money. Mucho, be a real nigga right now. How much money would it take for you to put <laughs> coke up your butt and bring it in? It's called plugging. How much money? How much money yeah. would it cost for me to so put, boof it? That's what they plug, call it. Yeah, yeah. Boof how it much money plug, would it plug cost the zoo. for you to <laughs> boof <laughs> to plug the Z to boof coke in, in my butt? Okay, and, and just then, bring it into like a, a nightclub. Into a, a nightclub? nightclub? Yeah. I feel like that's kind of extra. Know. Like you give me ten racks. I'm doing it. Ten thousand. That's it. Ten racks. Oh, you're sick. Everybody has, a, everybody has a price. I agree. Everybody, everybody has, has a price. price. <laughs> everybody does have a price. You guys are just trying to flex for the camera. Yeah, they're, they're not trying to answer these real hard hitting questions. Fake. This is why we have Mucho on the show. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you lowball yourself. I low key think you're lowballing too. You're definitely lowballing, but 10K? I respect you for answering. How much Coke is it? Just a bag. Yeah, man. Just a bag. And you got to put it in your bum and get into a nightclub. I'm not doing Boof that. it into yeah. a nightclub. I'm, but why would you. I'm not telling you. To save your life, you're taking an enema, right? But you What's the difference? The intention, <laughs> but it, <laughs> you're gonna intention? get a colonoscopy in thirty years. Okay, so if so, you're gonna get a colonoscopy eventually, why don't you just let girls peg you? What's the difference? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is for for money, for monetary purposes, right? Okay, but you still have a price for the boofing. No, right. no. just so I be real. No, I don't. A million? I'm not you doing so it. Ten million. I'm not doing it. One billion. I, it's not. I hate, <laughs> when, I hate people front. I hate people front. I'm not. See, because, the thing like, is, I'm telling I, you, if not, someone put fifty million not about on that table, the you're not gonna put a small coke bag in your butt for fifty m's. It's not Shut about. Up. It's not about the m's. act. <laughs> it's not about the act. What it's is the it? fact that I have to live with myself. <laughs> That okay, I did this. and now you have 50 M's. <laughs> Shut up. You're boring. That is that what is, is the definition. I don't know what the number is, but 50 M's is 50 M's. That is the definition. Yeah. Nigga, like, come on, up. now. That is the definition of selling years old. It would a lot of people do <laughs> it for less. Rats. Yeah, and they sell it. They sell no, it's not selling. I don't have to do all the drugs after. Put the doo doo out a Coke bag 
It's not selling. And I probably do it if for I less don't want to do it. <laughs> like, I don't know what my doing it when I don't want to do it is selling your soul. If you're just you one of the men, oh you can't just have fun. You want you want to say you want to have fun. That's it's fun. Just, like what the hell? It's, Putting it's coke in your gash is fun. It's literally <laughs> just a fun question. Like and I'm understand. telling you, my answer. How are you getting mad at my answer? Because uh, <laughs> we know that's not the real answer. Telling you my answer. We know that's not the real that's answer. That's when the Jamaican interest word comes out. Trey, what's your number? None of that shit. Okay, that's million. respectable. Two million is respectable. I think you'd do it for less, but I'll let you say that too. I think you would too. 100% I think you'd do it for less. When you see money on the table, people do a lot of stuff. That's how you people front. People see money. You'll do a lot of stuff when you see money on the table, yo. But why do you have to boof it to a nightclub? You could just put it under your where do you balls. Want, where do you but want even to that, though, seems like a little, like very easy. Like, I'm going to, like, I, I'm not getting caught. Like, I'll be able to make this happen. Like, yeah. it seems an easy but point. But you can do that. Getting in prison, they'll search without, you. Without, like, in a nightclub. Have you, you ever put a that. suppository in your butt? A what? <laughs> like, have you ever been? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. A what? <laughs> have you ever been? <laughs> some medicine you have to put in your some, butt. Some That's medicine you need to put in your butt. No, I've never done that. Okay, well, God forbid, knock on wood, you never do. But it's the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same. I thing. promise you, I have had to put a suppository in my butt before. <laughs> I know this is TMI, <laughs> but it's the same thing. One oh. is for your health, and one <laughs> is I'm, for money. But I'm saying, <laughs> lots of money. I'm Life saying, changing money. <laughs> I'm just saying ten thousand dollars is life changing money. money. That's his number. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. I'm just saying the act. Is there. You could win that on FanDuel with one good parlay. I was sick, man. I had to. I'm t- but one thing. What? what? <laughs> this is just a hilarious convo. I'm just. I'm just saying, yo, my thing is, I, on God, I never thought I would ever do that. But when you're that sick, and it's like, yo, this is gonna relieve you immediately. You're putting that shit up your butt, yo. I was sick. And they're like, yo, this is going to help ease your stomach in the next 10 minutes. I said, put it up there now. Anybody. <laughs> so did you do it yourself or they had to do it? I asked someone to do it and they were like, hell no. So then I just did it. So you asked got- like your family member to My do it? My friend. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I'm, guys, I'm telling you. But so, so is it like I'm a t- bite? No, if you guys were as sick as I was, you would. Holy fuck. You- Maybe not ask a friend, but you would do it, bro. I needed relief. I was dying. So is it like a by hand? Or is it like a... It looks like a little bullet. Something that you, like, oh. like you, like... <laughs> just like there's a two out of it? Like it's, it, it's like it looks like a little bullet. Yeah, or do you, like, blow dirt it? Like, <laughs> what are you... What are you talking about? <laughs> or do you yeah, have to you, take you your maybe, hand He's asking like, if you need, like, velocity on he's it. He's asking yeah. what the you process is. You just put it, it on, it, like, you, you, it, you angle it on your finger, and you just, like, put it up your butt. And you literally feel it slide in. Did like you do that, like, in. dry? Uh, well, it, it's kind of like, it's not lube, but there's like a, not lube, but there's like a, what's the word? Lube? No, it's not lube, because it's like a, like, not glaze, but. A liquid? No, not liquid. It's like a. What type of freaky word? doctor's office is this? <laughs> it's not, what's the word? Not lube, it's like, not glaze, but like, Holy you know the word shit. where it's like. You ever seen that, like. Something's uh, over it? Glaze? Not glaze. You ever seen that oh my god, OBGYN? that's what it's It's like a coating. <laughs> okay. It's like a coating that helps it slide in easier. Oh, yeah. A little bit like not too much jelly, but it's, just, it's like a coating that just helps with with less friction. I would do that way before I boof the. Coat. I hope so. If you were sick, you that's how I hope. But when men, black men, like get your prostate checks, and if you ever get that sick, where you need a suppository, please do it, and don't let your ego Is, get in the way on, of though, putting this, medication. Uh, this in devastating your butt. stomach sickness By that, you men had, too. <laughs> that you needed to put something like the relief was needed to that, but like yeah. Was the sickness, like, would it have run its course? Like, if you didn't <laughs> do it, like, would you have just eventually been okay? Or is this, like, a very serious, like... I won't lie. I was, like, 14 hours in, and I was ready, like, I was ready to... I was in the U.S., and I was ready to pay whatever dollar it was for relief. Like, I was like, guys, I'm going to the hospital. I, I understand like, it being a situation. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I had water poisoning. And that's worse than okay. stomach. That's worse than food poisoning. You said you're in Michigan? No, I was in Miami. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Mucho! Oh, that's like... <laughs> Mucho. <laughs> Since when was all... Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I have brand deals. I'm just I'm sick. Sick. I'm just sick. Yeah, no. I was in uh, Miami. And I didn't know Florida water was not good water. Hey, man. Maybe tweak it over there. Yeah, so I got what? And trust me, water poisoning is way worse than food poisoning, yo. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't even see straight. Your stomach Ooh. is in hell. Oh, Damn, rabies. Those are the ones where you're throwing <laughs> up. <laughs> you're yeah. sick. Those are the ones where you're, like a where you're thing, throwing right? up and, like, nothing is coming out. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you you're it all up. You're excelling. Er, you're or expelling. Sorry. Every. It's. I don't want to. TMI, but. Yeah. It's not. Yo, I'm telling you. And, like, one thing about me, like, I. 
Yo, if you have, if anyone has a stomach bug ever, God forbid you guys do in the near future, don't come. What? Like, I'd Wait, rather what? Skip, don't come here. Oh. oh. You guys are Yo, so <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo, clip that. Careful language. <laughs> <laughs> Careful yeah, language. Yeah, clip that. Oh my god. Ninety four. <laughs> Yo, <it's laughs> Yo, getting freaky during those times. No, those I knew. Nice. I knew what you meant. Thank I, you, Clyde. Thank, you, Clyde. <laughs> Thank you, Clyde, for having your head out of One the One more word would have changed that yeah. whole say. All you have to say was here. Yeah, don't the end. <laughs> Nah, Thank no. you. Don't, don't pull up. Thank yeah. you. Don't pull up. If you <laughs> don't guys, come arrive. here. Yeah. Yes, if you guys have stomach issues, don't come here and contaminate the group. Because yeah. I promise you, one thing I hate, I'd rather take the flu 10 times. Than sickness? Than a, no, than a stomach bug, yo. Oh, but all other sicknesses are fine. Well, no, I obviously don't want like a terminal all illness. <laughs> like, you know, obviously, what do you mean all sicknesses are fine? What about COVID? Over stomach bug, hundred percent. Sorry, I don't. That might sound gross, oh, but no. But, if we have, oh, if someone had ter- COVID. Oh no! If you have COVID, obviously don't come here. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was like, oh, same word. <laughs> yes. What if they have a concussion? Well, you you came by. I didn't force you. I did not force yeah, you. We're not, we're not playing sports. If no one told you to come. You wobbled through that door yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I called you and said I had concussion. You said. So <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't know so, that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't know mean that. You said not. you might have a question. So, and I said, do you? I said, do we want to reschedule? No, yeah. there was no reschedule. Yes, there was. There was this, we need you needed to be in Hollywood this day and just sort of a Marvel movie on Thursday. Hollywood? We couldn't like no. It was what? it was that a logistic was not, thing no. that we needed to record that day. No. Uh, you're like you're like a hard-headed NBA coach. I raised that. <laughs> Practice at 6 a.m. No yeah. excuses. <laughs> but, um, Yo, I used to hate... What was the point of making tryouts in high school at like 6 a.m.? Tryouts make the most sense more than practice. Shut up. <laughs> Who can, like, who's, really, who's really out here? Who's, who's dedicated? It doesn't matter. It's not about who's the most dedicated. It's who's the best player. If tryouts now or if it's at 7 p.m., who cares, bro? I hear you. I wish my trials were at 6 a.m., bro. And it doesn't <laughs> matter because they? whoever's on the team is going to be on the team regardless. <laughs> they they had, like, people that didn't need the tryout. Exactly. Like, yeah, school. yeah I never had to try out for rugby, and I still had to try out. Like, but we would just fuck around. It was like a formality? Cause yeah, they because you? obviously, yeah. like, if you were on the junior and team, because I was on the junior team for both years, mm-hmm. and then, you know, you know, like, you already have a relationship with the coaches. Like, you already know the game. I used to hate y'all, yeah. Yeah. So when newbies, There's a couple teams I wasn't getting on. I'm like, this guy wasn't even trying. Yeah. So I won't lie. They're like, especially, when, especially my grade 12 year, like, I've already been on the team for three years. Yeah. So yeah. I, would, I would fuck around during trials. Like, I know my ass is on this. Are you crazy? Yeah. We won off so loud, or we won Robs so or whatever. Like, I'm not... What? You think I'm trying now? In those contact sports, like, you shouldn't try hard un- until it's the actual game. Well, that's what I told the story about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never really tackled until game, and then yeah. you get hit, and you're like, shit. Oh, right, Yeah, right, right. yeah. Mm-mm. But, uh, okay, back to, before we wrap up, back to the conjoint twins, because we completely <laughs> segued off of that. Yeah. So, like I said, there's famous conjoint twins. They literally have two heads, one body. Is it the, the women or the, 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 the guys, and one of them is gay? What? <laughs> it's the woman. It's the woman. Oh no! It's the women. It's you didn't women. see that? Where it's God, like it's conjoined twins, and it's um, men. Oh. These white men, and one of them is gay, and one of them is not. Oh my oh. God! Oh my God! That's I don't know fucked. if that's ball sack sports or if that's true. no. That's no. It has to be no. I, I'm I'm almost positive that's true. But yeah, for that entertainment's sake, going. let's talk about that because we are. What the hell do you do? If you're a conjoint twin... I don't know if you want to search this. You're going to have to search gay conjoint twins. <laughs> I don't know if you want to search that, bro. <laughs> oh, it's too late. I already... <laughs> Are you, I'm, okay. Just so no brack in your brack, but you'll search that. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> Anyways. Ronnie, Ronnie and Donnie. That sounds fake. Is it real? <laughs> Ronnie and Donnie. It's on the Daily Mail. Their bodies are conjoined, yeah, not their names there. rhyme. Yeah, yeah, so they have two heads. Yeah. Two heads and one Two heads, body. One body. And one is gay and one is not. Allegedly. So what happens when it times for when it's time for pleasure? I don't think you can. What do you mean you don't think you can? Yeah. Guess they're gonna bump heads. Oh my god. Oh, something's wrong with you, dog. <laughs> 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 Something <laughs> is wrong with you, dog. 
Something's oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Come on, for y'all. those of you guys who um aren't well, we're not showing it on the screen. It's um the Come twins, on, and one of them is kissing another man, and the other one is watching. <laughs> he them. looks he pissed. Is, pissed. The other he dude. Is. They can't even. I still don't arms. think this is real. That's, <laughs> no, that's they're doing so this for crazy. likes, yo. Like the island like, boys. Come on. <laughs> that why? Do, looks- why are the island boys making out with each other for clout? Ugh. So what happens if he wants to give head? You gotta watch. Yeah. Oh. Come Wait. Do on. they have? I don't want to know more. Anyway, it's one body. Yeah, it's one body. Okay. So apparently. Alleged- yeah. So what? So what nerves control what? Because if one of them gets aged, they both get aged. Who's feeling think, what sensation? I think they both get aged. But who controls like your? So junk? I guess they're just bisexual. No, one of them is straight. Individual people. Yeah, but if the if it's they one have two penis, brains. Oh, right, their their heads their heads are straight and <laughs> gay, but their body's bisexual because it's both. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. I mean, kind of, yeah. but I mean, like, hey. So my thing is, if he wants to, oh, okay. So if you get turned on by men, <laughs> and I get turned on by women, yeah. and we're say you're watching gay porn, we both get the boner. <laughs> Or if you see a fine man and your dick gets hard, my dick gets hard yes, too? Yes, yes, there you go. Yeah, so, so the body's bisexual. Wait, wait, wait. So if, they, if 1% has sex with a girl and the guy's watching, does he get soft then? Why? How do he get soft? There's only one penis. I'm saying it's, he's not attracted to the girl. I think they are bisexual. Though. They are. Yeah. The body's bisexual. But even the twins, like, do, do you think sex is a real thing? I don't know. But they they have a coochie though. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking about the woman. The women. So yeah, oh, I'm just God. saying, even okay. for the women, like, thank God. <laughs> if you if you have sex, <laughs> what, what what happens? So, so oh, because they're only married to one. Apparently, so what happens when the other one wants to get married? Like, do the do the two men just have sex with one body and but? Yeah, they, just, they just, just gotta take turns. No, that's insane. If no. I'm the they other... gotta run of the first ethical train ever. Holy shit. No. That's an ethical train. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, see? Conjoined twin, Abby and Hensel, Crazy. shares magical dance, magical first wedding dance with Josh Bowling. But I feel like you got, even as the man, like, how, or, like, or like are you, but are you married to both of them or just one of them? She's just married to, he's just married to one of them. No, just one of them. So there's Abby and Brittany. He's just married to Abby. So like, but like, how do they go on dates and stuff? Like, does Britney just sit there quiet? Is there two birth certificates? Twin Are they Abby two legal? Separate was entities? on cloud nine while so. dancing with husband Josh Bowling on their twins. wedding day alongside her sister Britney, with okay. whom she's conjoined twin. The sweet video was shit, blah blah blah. So yeah. And who like is it like a? This one controls the left side of the body. This one controls the right <laughs> side of the body, so or. Yes, but I'm saying like, oh my God, so if they share we're a gonna coochie. walk, you're using her hands. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Say it again. They share. Wait. They share one torso as well as all organs below the waist. So they have oh, two so kidneys, same. two yeah. hearts, two obviously two brains. No, no, no. no they one share. Brain. No, they share below the waist. Oh. All those organs above the waist, they must oh, have. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So t- two torso. So two though. livers, two kidneys, or two set. Yeah, kidneys. Yeah. No, no, no. They're sharing. It says as well as sharing all organs. Waist Below is here. Below the waist, nigga. Waist is here, fam. I'm not here. Your heart can... I'm saying they share... Are you saying both. also? Also. Yes. Oh, my bad, my bad. What sorry, wait, sorry. Bad. Repeat the sentence one more time. He's right. <laughs> Repeat the sentence. As well as sharing all organs below the waist. Also. Also. Okay, I got you. So there's only one heart? Yes. Wow. No way. Yes. So what I'm saying is, how do we decide we're going to walk over there? Who is, like... <laughs> Who is controlling? That's a great question. Or is it like you got the right, I got the left? It's like when you're I playing two K and you're both on the same team, and it's like, mm-hmm. you're kind of like yeah, because if if I want to pick up my left arm, do I say, side? "Yo, bro, grab the left"? Like, do I say, "Grab mm. that"? Like, if, if I'm here yeah. and I'm like, "Bro, grab that phone," do I say, "Grab that phone," or just like my brain do it? And my brain will grab the phone. Uh, it says Brittany controls the left limb, while oh. Abby controls the right. Mm. Yo, oh, that's true because I heard left-handed people, the right side of their brain controls. So it could be something like that. And then you ever play that like funny running game back in the day where you press two buttons? Yeah. It's probably like that too. 
<laughs> where you gotta like sync with the with the legs. Yeah, and how the did, so like, like you have to have really like good Q-P communication. Then. Yeah, what happens when they get in the fights? Yeah, because what happens if you want to go over there? I don't want to go over there. <laughs> you have to hop on like you can't one. Agree to what disagree? do you mean hop on one? Where there's one body just or they both have to go. No, if you want to go over there, I don't want to go over there. You only control the left. Ooh. You have to like Drag force you? me over there. Nah, we gotta be on. We gotta be on yeah, par. Yeah, on the same page for sure. You have and to be what on the if same they page every they can't fight because we're both gonna feel it? No, if I punch you with my left hand, <laughs> do I feel it too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just know the spots know. that only you feel. So it's like you're like punching the right knee, and you know that only affects her. No, what if like... I punch you in your face? Oh yeah, then then that has to be one person. <laughs> no, yeah, because it's yeah. two brains. Yeah, it has. So to be yeah, one you person. punch you punch her. If one sister punches the other in the face, only she the sister gets. But below the, the neck, then I. Was, so if I punch you in the stomach, I would. Then they're yeah. both feeling it. They're. Damn. They share, right? They share this, the the organs. <laughs> yeah, God, 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 is sick God of snapped. <laughs> the only way you could fight is so headshots. <laughs> like I don't, I don't. Yeah, I just. Oh, but their, their nervous system all connects. So. Oh. Wow. Oh, yo. Damn. So. So if you do something stupid and like burn your hand on the on the stove, I'm cheesed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you feel the burn. You got to bear the brunt of your sister's mistakes. Mm-hmm. Damn. Or if she's combing her hair too hard, am I feeling the hair? Yes. No way. No, <laughs> you no. You said the brains That's are separate, separate, right? Like because if she's the head depressed, is separate. does she also get depressed? Like, no, but she said the nervous system is connected. That's your whole body. So physical feelings, yeah. That's but physical even the feeling. head, though? Can mental health Even though our heads are no, separate? then it's the brain. Yeah, yeah no, because mental health yeah. is the brain. They have two separate brains. Some so if one's depressed and like down bad and doesn't want to leave the house, and the other one's lit. But then it could take a toll on your body. Like you just so what if one feel- of them does cocaine? What if one of them's drunk and one of them sober? Or one of them does weed? <laughs> oh yeah, one of them's oh, drunk. Wow, That's you the- could drive home. <laughs> no, they have one body. Yeah, but you could drive. If I'm, I'm fine though. Nah, yo. This if is your wild. hand is on the wheel oh, and facts. your foot yeah. is on the pedals, oh if no, because it's like drugs. <clears throat> If I'm turned, you could drive. No, they but both they both get higher drunk at the same time. I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. If it's one nervous system, yeah. then yeah. and one drinks, they're both getting the effect of the alcohol. Yeah. What if I don't like drinking and drugs, and you yeah, are an that. alcoholic? Ooh. It's like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you really have to be on the same page. This is crazy. Damn. Yeah, they gotta be the same person. Wow, they have to get that's crazy. I just y'all. thought about like what sex would be like because you're married, unless you guys are celibate. Yeah, I I personally think that it probably works somehow. Like, only- is that is that weird for him? I, I mean, I got a question to ask, but I'll ask it after the pod. <laughs> oh, I, <wanna> know. <laughs> I think, I think he's, I think he's technically married to one because that's how it is in the law. I guess this is America because mm. you can't marry two people. No, polygamy is illegal. But, but that's I just believe. paperwork. Is it illegal? It is, illegal. it is. Okay, but yeah. that's just paperwork. Two for one. If they I both think like he's you, in practice married to both. If they both mm. like you. Yeah, I feel like it's not just yeah. He's yeah, probably th- there's both. no he's probably way. dealing with both of them. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, because I'm saying like, what if you're on dates and you're doing whatever? There's no way I'm gonna sit there silent and my bro is like talking to this girl. Mm. You talking about if you were a conjoined? Yeah. I don't know, man. He's not like what? It's weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little. It's a little odd. I'm gonna, gonna watch this settling. reality show and figure I it want, out. I want the show on Donnie <laughs> and Ronnie. That sounds like a crazy. I don't know movie. if I want to watch Ronnie and Donnie because that's they're. I oh, the, nah, I'm good. I need more I information. Wanna see, I want to see this. That, that, that no, you don't. Fun. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, would you last last words? Because <laughs> no, I'm good. I am fucking great. I uh, just the you can the joint twins can't get drunk together if one's just free. They can't. They can. They can. Yeah. Yes. Man, so system. imagine like, you guys have they have to be so in sync. Like I heard twi- like regular not shouldn't say regular but twins with two bodies, mm-hmm. two separate bodies. Yeah, are so in sync. Imagine having the same like bro. Like what happens if you're cheesing me? <laughs> you, I punch you in the face. Like, what happens if we are? Because we're definitely two different people. Like we have two different brains, two different opinions. Mm-hmm. Like, if we're fighting and you're here, oh you know? Oh, God. Stop. Yeah. You gotta duck and weave. <laughs> you both gotta learn how to weave. Like, shut up, Brittany. And she's right here. Oh, move on. You gotta find a way to not bump her? It's like, have you ever seen car you have fighting? You so in sync. No, I haven't seen that. Car fighting? Yeah, like when two people are, it's, it's a real thing. <laughs> Like when two people, I know, I know what you mean. That car is fighting is two people are buckled in a car, and they're fighting each other. Like it's like a sport. <laughs> oh, 
I feel Excuse like it's kind of like car fighting. Yeah, it is. If you're angry, so it's yeah. you it's buckled in the fighting. you buckled in the passenger seat. You buckled and you guys are both fighting in the car. Yeah, like real fighting. Like, yes, you're fighting each other in the car. <laughs> that's pretty much the same image I'm thinking about with the conjoint twins. Yeah, it's yeah, like that's their like, like proximity. Yeah. You only have your upper body to pull strength from. <laughs> yeah, same but shit. I'm still yeah. getting hurt. At that point, you know how mad you have to be to punch someone else, knowing you're gonna feel it too. Just Maybe so they, they feel it's like it. Like taking a triple X sweater and making both of you wear it, and then be like, "Fight!" Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's yeah. like people that headbutt. We can simulate this if we yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, there's ways to. It's like it's people very... that headbutt in fights. You you're willing to feel pain so that the other person feels the pain. Mm-hmm. But there's a way to headbutt where like you don't get too much pain. There's Headbutting like a is a showstopper. Yeah. If you headbutt people, you're a sick. You're a sh- like yo. You rugby people are scary. Man. <laughs> I've never headbutted someone. No, why I've do, seen why do you know this headbutted. information? Because I, I know. Right. <laughs> there's definitely a huh. Imagine getting headbutted in the nose. Who's bits are those? They're clients. <laughs> he brought them for right everybody. Anyways, y'all, we ready? Uh, yeah. I feel like we're making great time. Oh, yeah, yeah we're there. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I feel like good. we can, you know, Man. wrap it up. No? No, yeah. you're good. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> of course he did. Should we watch? I'm glad that we had, like, a nice little live reaction to the... We should start... Do- I mean, we get so much news during the pod that we should start trying to get things... Technically, this game is race wars as well. Because UConn's team is mainly white. Yeah. Best player is white versus yeah. oh. Juju. Do you want to see what Marlon... It's, it's race war, but Paige Buckers is black adjacent. Is Before she? we sign off... she plays like she's black? Yeah. Like Travis Kelsey black adjacent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do we want to see what Marlon Is she? Said? But Paige is yeah. okay. like... Let's see it. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah. But she doesn't dress like that. Look at that braid. That's a white girl braid. Hey. Are you done? It's not like she's bad baby or something. <laughs> Are you trying to watch Marlon's episode or whatever he What did Marlon say? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to play it, but you keep talking about this girl's braid. So party, um, the new album is called Bacchus? What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> if I download this, do I get pink eye? I heard it's going to be crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Marlon's <laughs> idiot anyway. <laughs> Bacchus 4. All the good four. shots for Marlon on that. That's hilarious. Bacchus 4. Anyways. Bacchus four. Maybe well, maybe it's like a it's symbolism. Maybe mm-hmm. it's a lot of like freaky music. Yeah. Probably. Like Good. I, I, I am should, sure that's what he's alluding to. He should get back to. in his freaky bag. Yeah. Freaky ute. Boom. No, no Anyways, oil. guys, thank you for listening to episode twelve. Juju from the towns, you are. Juju Ja. We'll see you guys next Juju week. Ja. Lord of uh, mercy. Uh, uh, uh.